welcome to the first episode of the Cheesy Cast, the Sporadic Artist Interview Series Podcast. I'm your host, Cheesy Manfredo, aka Alfredo Morales. And today I am with uh, I don't want to call him a web comic artist, because I think I think he's more than that. I, I, think I he, am I am that. Yeah. He, you, no, I, I feel like you're you're more than that. You're not just like a guy I'm who not, makes web comics. I am comics. not solely that. I'm not solely that, he, but I I am sometimes that. Yeah. Well, well, your brand is like when I think of Ben Saint. Oh yeah. By the I, way, this is Ben Saint. By the way, ben, everybody. Yes, that's the name. Ben Saint. My brand. My brand is my brand is expansive. My brand is a uh, scattershot. My 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 brand is a, a thousand sledgehammers falling out of the sky. Landing wherever they may. Yes, definitely. I think of sledgehammers every time I think of Ben Saint. That's uh, right. Very, <laughs> that's his, he cornered the market on sledgehammers. Think about uh, think about that one IBM commercial where the lady throws the fucking hammer into the into the <laughs> movies into the Big Brother movie yeah, screen yeah. or whatever. Yeah, Ben Ben Saint, Big Brother. That, that's basically me in a nutshell. Yeah, but you're like the you're the oldest of your family, so you are Big Brother, right? I am. Yeah. There yep. you, there you that's go. True. Dab. Uh, <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah, so here we are with Ben Saint, a webcomic web comic creator. He's also on several podcasts, uh, like the PCP and uh, what's it called? Grip, right? Grimp, yes. Grimp. Me and yeah. my buddy John have done two episodes so far of Grimp. Yeah, you should check it out. It's pretty good. It's, it's, yeah. it's going to be just like yeah, this yeah, podcast, yeah. only not, not at all. <laughs> pretty much. All right. Pretty much. Okay, enough of, enough of uh, the chit-chat. Enough, uh, enough bullshit. Enough of bullshit. Let's get let's get into this. We're gonna today we're gonna talk about um, your career as an artist on the internet, mm. uh, specifically like how like when you first started to oh, where you yeah. are like right now, you know, and how that what yeah. what led to what what uh what was like your biggest notoriety? What are your biggest like influences? Uh, well, shit like that. I mean that's that's easy and also embarrassing <laughs> i mean my 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 biggest notoriety was when uh me and uh nate me and uh the best guy ever yeah, as he's known brother. now yeah we, we started uh we started that uh, uh you, semi semi ironic uh <laughs> my little pony uh brony <laughs> review channel uh called tbap which stood for two best brothers bitch about ponies <laughs> and uh that was uh, that was our <laughs> start that, in there you go. the industry or whatever. <laughs> Bas- that was our start on YouTube. Basically, and that's kind of um, that's still even like how many years ago was that? Like, oh fuck, I don't know. Maybe I mean it's probably started in like twenty like five sixteen or twenty fifteen. So four, four I would say about years four ag- years four ago. years ago. Let's say something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't. Um, I was never. A brony. I'll never be a brony. That's yeah. How embarrassing. Yeah. It was. It was a time and a place, man. You had to <laughs> how, be there. How embarrassing says the clown fetishes. To be, <laughs> to be, a, to be a brony. How embarrassing. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. No. No. You're right, though. No. I'll let. I'll let a clown look down on me. It's sad. Uh, no. It's no. It's fine. It's all good. We we we're friends here. We're friends. Um. Mm, but indeed. yeah. But and and that um. I guess that notoriety of that podcast has still like followed you around because even on, even on, yeah, even on the podcast you are right now, like PCP, you still get like questions about, oh, when you guys bringing that back, even though like the series is basically, the series is basically over, right? Uh, I think there's a little bit of MLP. I think that it's in its last season, but I haven't watched it in a couple years. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, some of that, uh, some of that audience, some of that MLP audience followed us. Mm-hmm. Um, so like, yeah, there's still, I mean, I think most people yeah. are over it by now, but yeah. uh, I don't know. I, that's, that's kind of like the thing about when you do like anything on the internet, if you, if you invest like your time to like a certain project, um, yeah. like a little bit of that all the audience is going to follow you like with every little other project you do. Like I would say like yeah, sure. 10%. That's like the number I always go back to is like 10%. That's what they say, right? They yeah. say that like ten percent of your audience is like your you like your real fans who like will <laughs> who who are there for you. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've heard that or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I use that like I use the ten percent logic like on everything. Um like for example, if if I have like a so I mean I do web comics too, in case people don't know. Yeah, uh, Bongo and Luna. Bongo and Luna. Uh check it out. It's amazing. Check it out. Check uh, it is out. that on it's that on it's on Webtoon, right? It's on Webtoon. It's, it's on, on both? Webtoons and it's on both, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, whichever one you use, 
Um, mm-hmm. But, like, so I do, like, a lot of shout-outs from my uh, webcomic, mostly, like, on other YouTubers. Like, I pay them to give me shout-outs. And depending, yeah. depending how big their audience is, like, 10% of that audience is going to go check out that shit. But then, hey, what's the... Oh, no, no, finish, but I have oh, a question. About okay, that. yeah, okay. And then, and then 10% of the people who check it out are actually going to subscribe. So, mm-hmm. so it kind of, like, it kind of... Uh, the the more you got to make it like uh you got to make it easy for people to get into your shit yeah right i mean it's a it is a numbers game right it is right so like the larger like that big shout out is the more you're gonna get out of it okay how effective do you think that is like how like is it worth is it worth the money youtube and youtube shout outs have been very effective for me they're like the the most effective a way to uh raise i remember i think I don't think it was the first time I saw your stuff, but the, the I remember um, Digi gave you a shout out yeah, in yeah. Um, in uh, uh, how they market the, right. the aborted how they marketed pilot. Right, right. You, you uh, want you want to know how much I made, how much I got out of it? I, I would love. Yeah, if you want to go into numbers, oh, I'm no, go, very yeah, interested. Yeah, I, in I, this. I love I love talking about this stuff. Um, yeah, please. Zero. <laughs> Wait. You yeah. made you made zero what like zero like I didn't make any new subscribe like I I checked my no, subscribers seriously no fucking yeah, way yeah yeah no it's true and but I know why I know why it was like that um, okay okay so and I'll I'll compare it to my highest gain all right so um, yeah this, yeah go okay please. so my highest I really gain, want to know about this yeah okay so my highest gain was uh the Peaks of Party podcast. Ben, Ben, you're aware of the Pizza no. Party podcast. No, yeah. impossible. Yeah, yes, okay. it can't be. <laughs> okay, okay, tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go okay, on. so uh, the Pizza Party podcast. In case people don't know, it's like a, it's a podcast run by Rebel Taxi, very popular um cartoon review YouTuber. Yeah, and um, I'm yeah. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the podcast. Well, not recently. The recent episodes have been pretty. Uh, I won't say much, but. <laughs> Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, so anyway, but um, uh, yeah. he does this thing where, like, on Patreon, if you get him, like, 100 bucks, he'll shout, shout you out, right? And um, I see. And, and, what he, and he, what he does at the beginning of the episode, he'll shout you out, and that's very important. That's very important that they shout you out at the beginning, because that's, like, mm-hmm. fresh in people's mind. Like, people don't really watch... People don't really watch whole videos on YouTube. They usually just like, watch, like... by the time you get to the end, I'm sure even they're checked out. Yeah, and that was, like, the problem with a uh, Digi shout out. He put me, like, at the very uh, end. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and he he put me like right before like uh the, there's a part of the video where he like uh, there's one pedophile like paid him to do yeah like, I remember that yeah like he put me right that. before that and I'm like oh boy <laughs> 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 yeah oh jeez and and also okay another problem with Digi shout out was that um if there's one thing I could um if there's one thing I could say was a plus out of Digi was. I feel like Digi read more Bongo and Luna than uh, Rebel Taxi did. <laughs> like, I mean, I I, could... I know Digi. I know Digi read the one that he like read out yeah, on the thing. Yeah, and that so one... he at least read a little bit. Yeah, and and I feel like uh, I feel like Pan Pizza. Like, no offense to Pan Pizza, but I'm pretty sure he didn't really read it. Maybe maybe read yeah. like a little of the first one, and he's like, okay, mm-hmm. I get I get the gist, right? Um, mm-hmm. But but the one that Digi read was like more was like a couple episodes later so i'm like oh well did you must have like skimmed through the couple or at least actually read it because like you could probably read the whole comic in like half an hour it's not that long yeah and, totally yeah, yeah yeah so like i'm like oh thanks did you i guess <laughs> if you're listening to to this <laughs> <laughs> thanks right? did you <laughs> thanks did you yeah. i didn't you didn't get me no new subscribers but thanks yeah uh, i mean it it put your comic in my my. Yeah, yeah, and that's, so I so that's like very later important. on when I saw it, I recognized like, oh, it's that thing. I remember yeah, yeah. that thing. I've heard I, about this. I know that thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's also very important. Like, even if yeah, people yeah. don't um don't like go and check it out, as long as they know what it is, and if they keep seeing it, eventually, like maybe if you play your cards right, they're gonna go check it out. It you know? softens the, it softens them up. It softens up their mental armor mm-hmm, so that like right. the next hit, the next hit right, has exactly. a greater chance to penetrate. Exactly. Like we're not we're not always trying to get critical hits. Like sometimes you know you got to mm-hmm. like uh use a false swipe uh Pokemon. <laughs> totally. Ha, Pokemon, now, now you're speaking uh, my language. Pokemon reference. Haha. Ha. Yeah. But, but anyway, yeah. um so um Pan Pizza's shout out. The first so he gives you four for 100 bucks mm-hmm. he'll give you like four shout outs. Only Man, on the, only on the okay, podcast. Um, man, maybe I should. I, I mean, I've 
I haven't. I should maybe. I don't know. Should I do this? I don't know. Continue. I'll, I'll, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I'm like, gonna consider this. We'll, we'll talk more about it. We're like barely getting into this. But um, sorry. So he, yeah, he, yeah. Gave, he gave me four shout outs. That's like what twenty five bucks for a shout out, I guess. And um, the first yeah. shout out got me like a hundred subscribers on the spot, right? Okay. And I feel sure. like, and I feel like because maybe me and Panpix, I have a little bit more crossover. Um, with Digi, mm-hmm. he he has like what? It's like his niche is like anime, right? And like, yeah. I wouldn't. Oh, and, and yeah, I wouldn't and call Rebel Bungo Taxi Luna. is uh, Rebel Taxi is like Western cartoons, so you yeah. think like there's more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like I think my art style is a little bit more of a Western cartoon art style than an anime. Yeah, sure. Right. So, totally. um, so there's we have a little bit more of a crossover, right? Hmm. And and then and and also because like my comic is, is kind of lewd, and then Pan Pizza is known for being kind of like this lewd guy. Like, is, it, is he? Well, his whole his whole bit is that he's like. Eh, I like golf girls. Eh. Oh, right? okay. That's like that's his whole bit. That's his whole. That's the whole gimmick. He hasn't done it recently. I think because I think ever since he got like a girlfriend, he stopped doing the bit. <laughs> oh sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. So and well, I guess now. and I get my is she, bit. Is she is she a goth girl though? Um, I I guess. I, I mean, she has okay. like she has like blue hair. I mean, I don't know. That's that's good enough. Yeah, I got the goth demographic is like so big, like. I, I, to me, goth is more of a is more of a personality than like actual look, you know. Oh man, I'll I'll take the look without <laughs> the per, without the personality. Well, I mean, please. I like I like I mean I mean I like both. I'm a fan of both. But anyway, mm-hmm. what was I saying? Okay, so yeah, the first shout out got me 100 subscribers on the spot, and then the next shout out got me like 80, and then the one after that got me like maybe 40 to 25, and then like. Uh- yeah, it slowly like went down over time. I'm th- I'm thinking like if I were gonna, I would just pay for one because I'm sure you get diminishing returns because like after the first one, like a lot of the people who that, are hearing it have like already heard it. That's true, but like the thing is, it's also like um, see these are podcasts that are like on YouTube, so, and yeah. like there's no guarantee people are gonna watch a podcast in order. Like they might just click on a random one that they might just click sure. on an episode that has like a guest they like, and I could be I could be a lucky person and got in like on one that has like a guest. And I think I have, I think I have, like, my shoutouts have appeared on ones that have, like, guests. So someone could be like, oh, I don't know Pan Pizza, but I know his guests, I'm gonna check it out. And then they hear, they hear it, right? So, like, mm, yeah, yeah, and that goes back to the whole softening the blow for people, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and totally. I think, I think it was worthwhile. And, um, and then I thought to myself, well, okay, so I like the Pan Pizza shoutout thing, so I think I'm gonna do it again. But, um, I'm gonna wait a while. I'm gonna wait until his audience kind of forgets that I exist. Mm-hmm. You know, so, like, the next time... It won't be so annoying because I, I feel like eventually people get annoyed by hearing like the same shout out over and over again. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Yeah, but I've heard like I've heard information. I heard people say like, no, but it's good to be annoying because it's like, I don't know. Sometimes people need to get it drilled in their head. You know, like yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's like there's gonna be there's. Yeah, there's there's gonna be some people that like if they hear it, they'll resist they'll start to resist it but like yeah you, yeah you, true you probably will mm-hmm. being in it's it, the benefits probably outweigh the negatives yeah yeah most yeah, just most just likely. from a numbers numbers perspective yeah exactly actually um I paid um I paid Pan Pizza for another shout out recently and yeah. he he gave me two shout outs and then he went on break <laughs> he Uh-oh. went he went like on so a, still. So he still owes you too. Yeah, he still owes me too. Which I mean, mm-hmm. I DM'd him recently, and I'm like, "Yo, what up? Um, you guys still doing the podcast, right?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we're just um, I'm just taking like kind of like a mental break because I mean, the guy doesn't really the guy's been doing the same shit for like years now. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So he barely takes breaks, so he's like doing that, I guess, more often, you know. Which I mean, yeah. I, not, I'm nothing against him, you know, but yeah, him, you do you and whatnot, you know. Um, totally, but, but yeah, that's like the bigger the the YouTube shoutouts are like the one that's been more fruitful, like video stuff. And then, like if they have a link to your stuff right there, like in the description and in the comment section, I think it's I think it's better to put the link in the comment section because people don't really look at descriptions nowadays anymore. Like people just go straight mm. to the comment section, and if, yeah, yeah. And if he has like, and he does this thing where at the pin top comment, he has um he has like the link. Right, so then, like, pe- that's the first thing people see, and they just click on it, right? And th- it's easy. You got to make it, like, easier for people to, like, find your stuff. If you just have, like, uh, a URL that isn't a link, people aren't going to really take the time to, like, copy and paste it onto 
the little yeah. search bar. You, you know? got this like the fewest number of steps. Yeah, exactly. The less steps you give people, the more likely you're every, gonna like check every single every single step involved in getting there is gonna you're gonna lose people and not on that step. Right, exactly. Do not do not um fuck. What's the word? Uh, pe- people are lazy. People people are lazy, and like I'm I'm like lazy too. You know, like if something isn't a straightforward link, I'm not gonna click it. You know, mm-hmm. no one, no. Mm-hmm. If you tell someone to Google something, they're not gonna do it. You gotta no, bring the never. link there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You exactly. gotta do it. You gotta do the work for them. Right. Absolutely. I, yeah, and um, so yeah, so uh, you um, so what? Why were you getting on this tangent about the promotion? But um, I, I forget. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> I forget okay, what so, we were talking about. Yeah, we were talking about T bath, and then we we're talking about how yes. your audience like follows you with all the stuff that you do. Um, yeah. And, like, I mean, I, I never had, like, a T-BAP. I did, like, I used to do a YouTube series back when I was younger called Oh Shit Ghost. And that was, like... Oh Shit Ghost, okay. Yeah, it was, that was, basically, an episode would be just, like, it's me, and I'm doing some mundane task, and then a ghost shows up. And that's it, that's every episode. And, um, mm-hmm. and I would just do that because, um, it was kind of for me to practice filmmaking. Because I used to, I used to be really big on filmmaking, but then, um, after, like, too many, like, failed projects, I thought, like, yeah, this is just costing me too much money. I'm seeing, like, little returns. Um, I always love making comics, so I think I'm just gonna focus on that for now. Which, I yeah. mean, eventually I would like to go back into filmmaking, but, uh, I don't, I don't know, it's not... I would... It's, it's better to focus, yeah, I mean, it's good to pick one thing and focus on. That's something that I have just completely failed <laughs> to do. <laughs> Yeah, uh, which is which is why you're like this guy who's like all over the place with all the stuff that you do. I mean, you're ba- I'm totally all over the place, and I need to fucking pare you're, it down. You're basically running a video game too, aren't you? Like in Discord, kind ki- kinda, yeah. I mean, I, I I'm not like actively I'm not actively involved with that lately because I've been focusing on comic stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like I started the whole Endless War uh, Discord <laughs> server oh, yeah. and stuff, and now that's kind of another thing that I. You know, c- comics are comics are the thing that I'm like known for, and I think the thing that like actually makes money for me. And then I like started this whole fucking big <laughs> side <laughs> project that generates almost almost not zero, but almost zero income. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and but I did just did it for fun. I I, d- I don't know why I, don't know why <laughs> I do these fucking I mean, things. I, I mean, I, I, I even I though I think that. it's awesome, it's so cool. It's my like if, if it's like more, the neatest fucking thing. Yeah. If I had more time in the day, I'd do like more YouTube videos, more. Yeah. Pasta the clown stuff, but like yeah, I got I basically have two jobs right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. So shit, shit's whack. But oh yeah. Th- that's oh, like, did you hear that? Did you well? According to Ben Shapiro, that's a you problem. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you my, fucking my punk. Ass, you punk ass bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I should I should listen to Ben Shapiro more. He's he, yeah, absolutely. He's got the facts and the logic. How could I? How I, could I argue <laughs> with that? You can't. You, you can't. can't. Like it's try. it's literally his brand. It's it's <laughs> right. He's, uh, but uh, okay, my, okay. My, my my boy, <laughs> my boy Ben Shapiro back well, at it again. We're both we're both Ben S's. Yeah, yeah, that's so. true. Like, um, mm-hmm. you type in Ben, you're about to type in uh, Ben Saint on Google, but yeah. instead you get Ben Shapiro, and then you start red pilling you your oh, fans, this is, and you and you think, oh, this is way better. <laughs> oh, what? No way. Hmm. <sighs> but, but okay, don't don't about that. We gotta talk about art. No, talk about that oh. Okay. Oh god. So I was gonna ask about endless war. Um, how much like crossover do you think you get? Like, do you think um, do you think endless war works as a good vehicle to get more people to check out your comic, or do you think it's... absolutely not? Oh, okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody who doesn't already know who I am, or who know or Munchie or the PCP, nobody like finds so, endless war and gets into it. It is impossible to get into if you don't have some kind of an in already. It is a, I, and I, <laughs> I would really like to fix that. And like, mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I, I was hoping, yeah, no, it's, I don't know what it, maybe it's too complicated or too dense or not user friendly enough or just too hard to explain <laughs> or something, uh, but no, it has not the, like the, the, the endless war audience is basically just a subset of like the, the people P- that already PCP. listened to PCP and liked liked me or Munchie, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you think so? It's your comics, or I guess just you, you as the brand that like uh, gateway drugs people into endless war. I guess. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I was I was hoping, you know, I was hoping to grow my audience with those uh, Winnie the Pooh videos that I yeah. was making for a little while there. Oh yeah, I like those. Yeah. 
I, yeah, they were they were good. People liked them. You know, it's sad. The people people did like them. They got an overall positive response, but like the reason I started doing them was because I saw um low art. You know low art? Oh, who that? Okay, he's a YouTuber and he, you know, he he talks about cartoons and he made a series called Was Teen Titans as Good as We Remember in which he goes he goes he basically goes episode by episode talking about um you know, the old Teen Titans show, not Teen Titans Go. Right, right, one. yeah, yeah. Well, not the original, but, you know. The, you, the you, you know, yeah, the one everyone likes. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I mean, and then, like, it, like, blew up his channel. It got huge. And right. I was like, man, the, the okay, what he did is he found, like, a property that people fondly remembered, and he, mm-hmm. like, did a retrospective on it, and, like, it grew his audience immensely. It was like, you know what? I really like Winnie the Pooh. I don't see any talk about it on, uh, like, I know, this is a brand that people know. I'm nostalgic for it, so I'm sure other people are. I'll do that. And, I don't know. Didn't happen. Well. I mean, it got, it got like, pretty standard views, I which mean, is not what, it, like, like, I wasn't doing, I wasn't doing it. I was really doing it to grow my audience, and right. it didn't really do that. So it's kind of a disappointment. Right. Wait. Yeah. Let's let's talk about that. Because um, I yeah. mean, I'm aware of the Winnie the Pooh show. I wasn't actively like watching it, although I think we're, I think we grew up in two different generations. Because you're older than me, like by what? Pro- uh, I don't Five. know your exact age, but I'm. I'm like twenty. I mean, what, you're the you're twenty. Oh, okay, then I'm eight years older than you. Yeah. So we like grew up during like different times, and um, so I, I mean the Winnie. Winnie the Pooh, the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh was already, like, in reruns by the time I watched it. I wasn't, like, watching it as it aired. Oh, okay. Although, well, maybe maybe when I was really young. I think it ran from, like, 88 to, like, 94 something. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. But well, I, but anyway, yeah. You might, you might, it might not have been part of your, your it, diet. Yeah, and, like, I think more people have, like, Teen Titans on the mind because of the new show and the whole controversy with that. You know, yeah, people, that's that's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. And I, I'm pretty sure, like, like the like the move the movie was was getting announced around this time. Yeah, yeah. So you probably that was probably a good time. There was there was it. buzz. There right, was buzz. Exactly. There was there's no people are, might be nostalgic for Winnie the Pooh, but there's no like buzz yeah. around well, it. But there so. was there was that one live action sequel that they made. That, that they made out. a. Yeah, they did. They've that, made a bunch of well. Oh, oh, that oh! Came out like a oh, wait, year that's ago, right. right? Yeah. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. The um, the fucking um, the one where like Christopher Robin Robbins movie is, is like an adult. Yeah, yeah. The the you no, know, you're right. The Christopher Robin movie was coming out at the time, and people there. So there was a little buzz around it, mm. a little bit anyway. But yeah. it just didn't. It just didn't work. It, it didn't it connect. Didn't I guess. No. Right. Like because no, the T Titans Go movie that that's still a cartoon. He's talking about a cartoon. You're talking about a cartoon, I mean, ma- and then this is like a live action movie. Is that little I mean, bit maybe what I should have, maybe what I should have done is like make a video about like go see. I didn't see Christopher Robin, but like go see the Christopher Robin movie. Make one big video talking about it, like comparing it to like the old series. Maybe that would have done better. Yeah, huh. yeah. That, there's an idea right there. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's a little too late for that. Yeah, I think unless so. you yeah. still want to just do it, but <laughs> I, I don't really you. want. I mean, it was doing. Yeah, it's fine. No, I gotta like. I, Doing the videos was fine, but I really got to focus on one thing. And right now, I'm focused on. Um, right now, I'm focused on. Well, right now, I'm focused on getting the Vapors Two Kickstarter. Oh ready. yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna um, be dope. That's gonna be dope. I'm re- just before this interview started, I was writing a script. I was writing a Vaporette script, which is very um, bleak. It's bleak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like like all of Vapors. Well, Vapors is this really one's, bleak. This one's fuck. Yeah, this one's fucking bleak. <laughs> I mm. think. All right, all right, okay, dope, dope. Okay, mm-hmm. so, um, yeah, so, I guess that was an effort to kind of, like, grow, and it didn't really work out, but I mean, that's, like, that's fine, like, lesson learned, like, yeah. it took me a couple of tries to figure out that, like, YouTube shoutouts were, like, the best way to get my name out there, because before that, yeah. I was, um, I was trying, like, other stuff, like, I would, um, commission people yeah. to, like, draw my characters, and, um, yeah. that would get me, like, 15 or 20 subscribers, if the artist... Like on Twitter? Like on Twitter? Uh, this was back when I was, like, on Tumblr. Okay. Yeah, yeah like... I've, ne- I've never really used Tumblr. Uh, it's, it's dead now. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> I heard that it I heard that it lost a billion dollars. <laughs> I, I... They deserve it. They deserved it. They, uh... Yeah. They, like... They were valued at, like, over a billion dollars before, and, like... <laughs> oh, fucking... Whoever bought them just resold them for, like, three million or something. <laughs> it's, like, fucking peanuts. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. But, yeah, so back in the day which was, like, maybe two years ago, um, 
I, I, I commissioned, like, an artist to draw a picture of a Luna, and that got me, like, 15 subscribers, and I thought, oh, that's pretty good, so I gotta keep commissioning. And then, um, and then I, and then the one YouTuber I was following, which is someone you know, uh, Monkey Jones, um... Oh, sure. Yeah, he used to do shoutouts at the end of his videos, like, if you paid him 25 bucks, like, his, his whole yeah. gimmick was, like, oh, I'll say anything, because I'm super edgy, right? And it's, Like on, like, on Fiverr or whatever? Yeah, yeah, on, that, on Fiverr, and I'm like, uh-huh. hmm, maybe this is a marketing opportunity. So I yeah I went on Fiber and then I made him say that Bong Bong Luna is the best web comic ever. All web comics are trash. Yeah. Yeah, and that got and now, that, that got me fifty subscribers. Yeah. From that uh, shout out. When you say subscribers, you mean on YouTube? Webtoon. Well, on Webtoon. Okay. Yeah, because Webtoon like works almost exactly like YouTube. Like you could see your growth yeah. in subscribers. Right. I am on I am on Webtoon, but I have like completely neglected it. And, like, Meriwether, Meriwether tells me that it's the place to go, but he also tells me that I need to I need to draw in a more Webtoon-friendly format, like like you do, like the vertical yeah, yeah, scrolling, yeah, yeah, scrolling, yeah, scrolling exactly. format, which is probably true, and I might um, do it. Um, I don't know. It's, it's like this. It's like, okay, so pretend that, like, okay, YouTube is, like, the best site to post your videos, but the only videos that are worthwhile that are, like, making the money on YouTube are, like, prank videos. Right. That's yeah. that's like webtoon sure. basically. Right. What do you mean? Like the only worthwhile um kind of comics to make on webtoons are like the stuff that like Mary Weather's making. Right? Like Um Okay. You you're saying that like you're saying the only thing that makes money is um like there's a certain kind of yeah, thing there's people a are kind looking of, for. There's a certain kind of thing that people want from webtoons, yeah. which is like the biggest biggest thing there. You know? Well I've, what are, well what are they what do they want? Well they want something Okay, so in Meriwether's case, like, it's very, like, anime-looking, and, like, um... Yeah, anime, and, you know, like, really, like, like... Simple, beautif- nothing... Be- 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 like, like, beautiful anime art, colorful, yeah. and just kind of, like, simple, sort it, of, like, go- the, goofy, the, so, goofy slapstick with, like, a little sexy... Yeah, yeah, you gotta have a little sexy in it. Um, the girl's yeah. gotta be cute. The girl's gotta be cute. I mean, that's like I've read Bak- I've read Bakuman. I know the girl's got to be cute. <laughs> oh yeah, you dude. read Bakuman? Oh yeah, dude. I love Bakuman. I fucking Bakuman's love fucking, Bakuman. Bakuman's fucking it's, great. It's my it's my favorite manga. Oh word. Fuck. Oh yeah. Oh wait, wait. Okay, let's put the webtoon conversation on the side for a bit because I do want to talk okay. about. I want to talk about Bakuman because Bakuman's okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, what do you, how do you how do you feel about that? Because um, I I hear people say like about Bakuman that it kind of like it, it kills like shonen for them because it's kind of like. Oh, now they see how the magic works, and they don't like it. How could they not already see how the magic works? Well, well, like I mean, you're, 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 you're already <laughs> was like it a... was it really like a big demystifying experience? I don't like, understand. Like, oh, what are you saying that Dragon Ball Z was perfectly designed to be marketable and sellable? Like, it wasn't just like a random happenstance that it was just amazing. Oh, what? I see. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that's uh, you know. Good, good for them. Congratulations on you've taken your first step towards understanding you, you, the capitalist nightmare. Yeah, that yeah. We all you, re- live in. you realize that everything has to be like marketable under capitalism if you, yeah, if you want to is... make money off of it, and you have to yeah. make money if you want to live. You know. I mean, man, Bak- Bakuman. There, I mean, there's the part where um, there's one little part where they talk to oh god Hatori, the editor, yeah. and they, add, they they're like they have like a it's so brief, right? It's 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 like almost glossed over where they have a like a very minor little crisis of conscience. Like wait wait a minute. Like, uh, is, is being popular the same thing as being good? Like <laughs> what 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 couldn't is can something bad be popular? Like like shouldn't we be trying to make something good instead of just trying to appeal to the biggest audience? And Atori just gets serious and he's he's just like, um, you know, he's like, listen, guys, like <laughs> like <laughs> it's fucking like there's like. He's like it's like he's been dreading this day, like, and he's, he's going to reveal Santa just, Claus doesn't exist to them. <laughs> well, he's like he's like he's like in my he's like listen, you know, manga artists all struggle with this. Here's my hot take: is that like a, a popular manga is a good manga that lots of people enjoy, and like that's like the fact that people enjoy it is what tells you that it's good. And they're just like, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean, fair enough. That, that's true. Like I mean, yeah, because like even he's, he's not wrong per se. He, like, he, there's there's something to that. Like yeah, like you we, you have this like live action Lion King movie that's making a shitload of money, even though like I keep hearing people hating it. But like that must not be true because like it's making a shitload of money, right? 
Well, I mean, it's, I would imagine that like people are seeing that. I mean, probably well, it's time to get po- time to get political. People <laughs> are seeing li- people are seeing live action Lion King for the same reason they're voting for Biden because they just fucking don't know any better. And yeah, are they, checked they, out. they want the familiar. People like yeah, stuff that's familiar. They, you know, they've heard of it. Right? They've heard of it. So I guess it's, I guess I'll do that. It, it goes back to the phrase like people don't know what they want. People just know what they like. You know. Like, yeah, I, I don't, sure. I think I might be butchering this, but someone brought up an example. Like, back in the day, before cars existed, you would ask people what they want. Like, they would just say, I just want a faster horse. You know? It's like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, they don't know they want a car. They don't know that's, like, what they want because it doesn't exist, okay. you know? Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you, gotcha. can't, you can't always rely on what, like, uh, people, like, want or like. You know, you, sometimes you might need to go out of that. You just gotta... Or you just gotta just focus on the shit that you like. But um yeah. But back to Bakuman. Um I so I heard this comment before where it's kind of like it like makes it demystifies like manga for people shown in manga and it's kind of like I I think it's the opposite for me. I think it makes it way more it's interesting. It's to- it's totally the opposite for me. It's like this fucking epic it's this like epic it's- action romance <laughs> about like about making like it makes it so much cooler. Yeah, it's to me it's like now there's two stories. I mean, what's ma- what's kind of magical about it is that it takes what is just a fucking capitalist nightmare grind fest work <laughs> right. work a day bullshit and right. turns it into this fucking grand drama right that's um, what's great about the, it to me it's kind of like i like that like okay so now you have like a main story so it's like let's say like okay so the main it's like it's like one piece right so there's two there's two stories going on there's the story of oda writing one piece and then there's the story of oda writing one piece like making it interesting you know, because like the whole, yeah, okay. Their whole goal is like you have to basically when you make a manga, it's like you have to design it for it to go on forever, right? So how do you mm-hmm. how do you do that? You know, that's like the challenge. Like, how do you like constantly like make something interesting forever? You know, and like mm-hmm. I I feel that with like uh, Bongo and Luna because it's like I'm making this up as I go along. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, uh, I have a of course. I have an ending in mind. Like I feel like okay, this would be like kind of like. Really? Yeah, I have like an ending. Like, okay, this is how it all would end. This is how it, would, it wouldn't be like this big climax. It'd just be kind of like a. If, oh, if tell I, me, dude, who, tell me who dies. <laughs> just tell me a I, secret. I won't tell anyone. I okay, uh, there's a couple <laughs> characters in mind that I imagine would die, but I don't want to say. Oh my god! Die. Okay, I didn't expect no, you yeah. to actually <laughs> say that would happen. Okay. No, yeah. Uh, well, technically, some of the characters are already dead because Luna's a ghost. But <laughs> well, yeah, sure. Uh, no, it's okay. fine. Ghosts could die in, in, in my universe, so it's fine. They can they can double die. They can double die. Yeah. All <laughs> du- right. Cool. Double death. They go to double hell. Fuck <laughs> the worst. <laughs> It's worse than right. regular hell. It's twice the yeah. hell. But, um... Yeah. For, mm-hmm. Okay, so, like, alright, so let's... Enough enough of this. Enough of this. What were we yes. talking about? Like, webtoons earlier? Yeah, anyway, you gotta be yeah. a big sellout. You gotta be a big shell for webtoons. Which is fine. Yeah. Which is fine. I'm you already got, that. I mean... You, I mean, yeah, you gotta... I mean, you know, if you wanna... I don't know. It's it, it's tough because like it, yeah, ba- ba- Bakuman Bakuman literally makes it look cool to sell out. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> I mean, luckily, like the stuff that those two guys were into were like shit that was popular. They, yeah, they were into shonen manga. Like they, we want to make a shonen manga. We wanna we wanna do it like this. Right. Exactly. We, we want to do we want to do this thing that is successful and that that's and we like it. Yeah. So like. Yeah. It, exactly. So it's kind of like you know, it feels bad for the artists who like make something they really love, but like it's not popular. So yeah, they're gonna have to struggle. I know, right? Yeah. Like exactly. some people just don't want to do that. Like some some people just want to make, I don't know, just some weird shit or some <laughs> leak shit or whatever. And yeah. like <laughs> that's, le- that's well. Yeah. Here's the thing. I have I'm under the belief that like I think a lot of it's like marketing, right? Which is like very sure. it's very important. So you gotta like just learn how to market it like there's maybe a certain there may be a certain audience you're just not tapping into yet yeah or something i mean there is there is an audience for there's everything i feel i mean i read your stuff and i'm like yeah this is like i read stuff like this before it's very like indie very like yeah small press kind of shit very personal story like it's basically like this is like your life almost right Pretty, pretty Vape, much. I'm talking about Vapor specifically, because that's, like, the one... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, more or less. Yeah, that was the one more, like, um... I, I felt more drawn to than, like, your other stuff, to be honest. Um, yeah, sure. I, I mean, I read all your stuff, but, um... Vapors is very personal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... 
Man, I, 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 think... I was right. I was writing. Sorry, I was writing the yeah. script a minute ago, like I said, and I, you know, I, I'm writing the script specifically for other people to draw because they're mm-hmm. vaporettes, and like, I'm writing this one, and I, I realized that like, I've actually written a lot, and suddenly I'm like, wait, maybe I need to draw. Maybe I can't give this to someone else. Maybe this has to be me. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel that. I feel that sometimes. Yeah. Maybe like, maybe only maybe only I only, could cap could only, capture the, the precise I. feeling. Maybe well, maybe only I could capture the precise expression on her face when she says such and such line. Like someone else would just fuck it up. You know. <laughs> I I I mean yeah, dude. Like like go for it. I get that shit too. Where it's like I come up with like a story and I'm like, okay, I totally have this person in mind for this story. But like I'm like yeah, yeah but they might fuck it up. So you know, only I can do it. It's up to me. That's the great yeah. thing about like making comics it's like you have full you could be a control freak when you make comics and it's totally okay yeah that's why that's why i liked comics in the in the first place like um when i read uh, i I guess i was probably like uh 23 or 24 or something Mm -hmm. and i read i think i had read it before but i read through all of uh scott pilgrim Mm mm-hmm no, no, I hadn't read it before. No, I discovered Scott Pilgrim. Right. It had already been out for a couple years. I just didn't. Know. I discovered Scott Pilgrim, and I and I, I had a friend who had a bunch of like small indie press, um, kind of little comics lying around. Yeah, and yeah. I read through it all, and I was like, I was like, oh my god, man, you make a fucking like, you make like a movie or something, and that's like a billion dollar, that's like a billion dollar thing. That's like you got to hire like a whole crew. It's like a whole thing. You you, oh, you know yeah. you make a, you do like all these like so many other forms of art are just like. It's so impersonal. It's so like mass mm-hmm. media, or, or like it's it's you know it takes this whole uh, production uh, cycle. It's, it's you can't a team like it's not it's not it's a team effort. And like fuck that, right? Like <laughs> fuck working in a team. <laughs> fuck other people, dude. Comics, dude. Comics are easy. You just one guy just sit down and just draw whatever, and like there you go. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. Like why doesn't everyone do this? Yeah, right. Yeah, comics, simple shit. Comics is like the one art form that's like being a control freak is okay. You know, some people yeah. well. No, novel, prose writing. Yeah, I mean, writing right? too. Anything where it's just you. Any art that's just, like, you. like you Maybe know, if you're a room. figurative oil painter or something, you can be as uh, Maybe you... demanding as you want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I like I like that. I like that, but it's not it's not as easy as I thought. <laughs> it turns out it's hard. <laughs> Damn, drawing drawing takes time, apparently. No one told nobody me told me. Who... Nobody told me it would be hard. Wait, this shit took work? It takes effort? What the fuck? Hell no, man. Fuck comics. It it agreed. Fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Um, Throw them in the trash. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. So, fuck. What were we talking about earlier? Yeah. So anyway, uh, webtoon. Yeah. Webtoon is very yeah. So like, I mean, with with where I'm at with Bongo and Luna, it's to me Bongo and Luna is kind of like a writing exercise. So it's like sure. Yeah. So here here are OCs I made back in high school that originally mm-hmm. originally were supposed to be like in doujinshis and porn and whatnot right and i'm (laughs) like okay so how do i take tell a straightforward story with these characters that were clearly designed for porn and then (laughs) and and then i just and then then it just fucking happened like fucking the story that's going on right now is pretty like serious and then i'm like how did i get here how did this shit get all serious all of a sudden (laughs) oh god how how did it how did it happen um i don't know i i I thought it'd be funny if it just suddenly became serious out of nowhere. <laughs> no, um, it didn't come out of nowhere. It was like a have, you cons- have you considered maybe having one of them have a miscarriage? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm planning on it. That's going to be the next arc. Oh, uh, gonna good. Be, oh, good. It's going gonna, it's gonna to involve demons and exorcists and clowns and ghosts, you know, but with a miscarriage. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I can't. I can't fucking get off if there's no miscarriage <laughs> dude you're not a real webcomic until you have like one or two miscarriages you know exactly oh wait that, exactly oh, okay that's another point oh, that just reminds me of something about web another thing another thing about webtoons that is you need to your comment needs to be like shareable it needs to be able to become a meme you know yeah yeah totally when, uh that's something that i don't really have yeah me neither in my, in my <laughs> stuff yeah even though my comic is very kind of like it's simple it's not simple enough to be a meme. Your sc- your comic is like screen capable. Like I don't know. Like the 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 web the vertical scrolling webtoon format is very like screen capable. Right. Right. I guess. Yeah. I. Uh, well, what do you what do you what do you think makes it? Uh, what do you think makes something memeable? Um, it has to be like sim- Like even though webtoons is very much about like um the vertical format. Like a l- there's a lot of people on there who 
make comics that look very like western very kind of like traditional with like square boxes and whatnot right and if they're like a simple uh, yeah if they're like a simple joke like people would like um share them like for example you ever heard of a uh, my big my biggest webtoon rival um zomcom it's no it's basically just kind of like oh monster girls monster puns lol and there's no like there's no talking at all sure. there's no talking that, at all so it's like that, anyone can that read seems it. like yeah, okay. Wait, then how are there puns if there's no talking? Well, it's like visual puns, you know. Oh, okay. Ge- yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to give an example. It's very like it's very whatever. It's very like kind of I want to say milk toast, but it's mm-hmm. very like simple shit. Like anyone could get it, but I, that's like the appeal. And that's how you, that's how why it has like such a big audience because um so I've been on webtoons longer than Zomcom, and like the first week like Zomcom was on webtoons, it already got like promoted to the front page. And then, and then they went to, yeah. and then the author like um, got a second series with another group of people that's also promoted on webtoons. Like that all happened like one after the n- another. And I'm over here like, damn, I was I've been here for all, like almost a year, and like I'm still like in the I'm, same spot. I'm looking at it. Okay, well, it looks very right off right off the. I'm looking at it right off the bat. The art style is like. Very. It's that kind of Tumblr kind of art style, it's, isn't that's, it? That's the word I was gonna. That's the word I was trying not to use. It I has mean, a very like, Tumblr art style. Yeah, yeah, people use like it the does, Tumblr though. art style as like derogatory. I mean, I like. I I don't. I don't hate the Tumblr. I don't art think. Style. I don't think it looks bad, but it's very. It, it's for a certain demographic. I feel like some people should like be more honest when they talk about it, like saying like this. Don't, instead of saying the art style is trash, just say like I'm not the demographic for this art style. <sighs> Yeah, what something I mean. about yeah i'm trying i'm trying to yeah like, it's very it's very cute yeah, out of art it, style it is, is very it is, is very it is very cute right very digestibly cute right exactly and like again yeah, it's so um i think i read somewhere that someone said that like uh all the characters aren't like portrayed to be in any relationship so you could like ship them with each other you know uh, and that's kind of like damn that sounds like a very big appeal for because like there is a big like kind of like this like fan base kind of like like you know oh we ship characters together or like oh lol i stand this character you get me mm-hmm. that that kind of mm-hmm. en- that kind of energy because i see that is in it my... kind of like kind of like how um you know like in Bakuman, how like the the voice voice actresses and idols like they get like a backlash if they ha- if they have a boyfriend like they have to keep a secret. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like that, but with your characters, yeah, right? Like it. if someone they find out they have a boyfriend, it's like oh well, now I can't fucking now I can't fucking uh, I can't uh, project. I, ca- I can't be in this parasocial yeah. relationship with you now. Yeah, <laughs> ex- I'm getting cucked. If I read this comic for this character, I'm just getting cucked. No. I don't want that. <laughs> Stop. <cucking. laughs> yeah, no, they, thank they're, you. they're getting cucked. Um, I'm getting cut by my cartoon girlfriend again. <laughs> again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Why does this <laughs> always happen? Right, exactly. And Zomcom is very like anti. Like you, you will never Sweet. get you'll never get cut with Zomcom. No, That's, no. They should put that on the book. You'll never get this <laughs> you'll book never get... this book won't yeah. cut you. Like none of these characters are in relationships. None of them are like actually wait, hold up. No, there is one character, I think. Because there's like a running joke where it's like these these like shape creatures that appear in the background all the time. And um and like slowly, like every ep- every episode, like you'll see them gone another day, another day, until eventually they're just dating. And that was like something I can't, I don't, wait, I can't. Wait, background what characters? Yeah, because like Zomcom, there's like uh. a lot of background monsters that are just hanging yeah. out. Yeah, sure. And, and she would draw like um, the author would draw like these like kind of like creatures that have like shapes for heads, and they would they would go on dates in the background. And I think the fans in the comment section would be like, oh, lol, I, sh- I shipped these shape creatures. And she probably picked up on that. And then she, like, kind of made them officially, like, be a couple. Right? Hmm. With, and, okay. and, like, with Zomcom, it's like, there's no plot. So it, it's not like if an if a, if a audience member says something, you're going to be like, oh, no, well, that doesn't happen in my plot. With Zomcom, it's like, oh, okay, that could happen. Fuck it. Because it's just, like, so open. Unlike, unlike Bongo Luna, where it's like, there is like a plot. These characters are clearly in relationships. Um, yeah, right. They talk about it and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, you can't really, like, you can ship Bongo and Luna if you want, but like, Bongo's like straight, like, and she makes yeah. that very clear. And it's kind Dis- of like, disgusting. Like, this, she's a disgusting straighty, <laughs> right? And she like makes that very clear, mm-hmm. right? So, mm-hmm. 
So you can't like there isn't that much there isn't that invitation to like kind of project stuff, right? <sighs> Meriwether messaged me the other day talking about like how do I make a meme, Ben? How do how do <laughs> I make a how do I make a meme? What, doesn't he do that all the time? Isn't that kind of I was wasn't that his gist? Well, like well, kinda. He he was like um he was talking he about copies okay memes. he he was talking about like he'll take something like the moth that moth meme and like make a girl out of it right exactly that's like the go-to yeah take take something take or the black hole picture he made the black hole chan or whatever yeah like area storm area 51 more like storm area 51 chan you know (laughs) is that a is that a real thing i saw one picture of it i saw one picture of it so i don't think it caught on because that meme kind of died but um yeah yeah it's like that sounds like that's a very go-to merryweather kind of thing and i think they expect that like if you look yeah, at his sure. comment section, they kind of that's expect his shtick that. now. That's his shtick. That's now. A, that's a, yeah. He cornered the market on making waifus out of memes, right? <laughs> He's like now attached to that. Like just how um, I'm attached to clowns. You know, people bring it up, and I'm like, okay, here I am. But but he was saying like he was talking about Bowsette. He was like, why did Bowsette get so popular? Hmm. And maybe maybe I should make like maybe I should draw like say, like you know. Maybe it's something about it being a villain. Like maybe I should make uh, uh, like sexy versions of like other villains. Like the, mm. he's a the the Grinch and Cruella Deville. <laughs> and I was uh, like, I mean that. I mean like I mean there is appeal in that idea, right? But it, the thing the thing about um, Bowsette, I think, was not. I mean, yeah, people liked Bowsette, but there was also the invitation to like do it with other characters. Like people right, made like right. Boozette and Chain Chomp, Chain yeah. Chomp Zette and whatever. There was like this kind of modular thing where it sort of invited you, like, "Oh, what's my take on this?" Oh yeah, def- definitely. Thing. Yeah, because like, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, and that happens like all the time because like, remember when everyone was turning like Wendy into their waifu? They started making like waifu versions. Wendy, of all the- Wendy, the fast food girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were making like her the, the anime waifu, and then they started making all the other mascots into waifus too. Because it's it that's what kind of happens because like it's like artists kind of trying to like. Art is trying to uh, be on part of the new wave, but also be distinct enough that they're not, like, too, like, lost in, in all the noise, you know? Because it's kind of mm-hmm. like, oh, like, um, Bowser is now a hot chick? Well, I, I need to draw that, but, like, then I'm going to be lost with all the other hot chick Bowser pictures. So, like, oh, I know, King Boo as a, Bow- as a, as a hot chick, because that's still attached to, like, the, the bigger fandom of, like, Mario, right? But it's, like, yeah. kind of the same thing. And also, you know, it might appeal to another group. Also, like, they draw all these waifus the same. They got, like, a fat yeah. ass and big titties, and then you just slap I mean, sharp teeth or whatever. You know, it's it's the same shit. It is. It really is the same shit. Mm-hmm. The formula is, like, so clear. Yeah, like, how do you, yeah. like, how do you draw a waifu? You just give her, like, you draw, like, a regular anime girl. Give her big titties, big ass. You just give, just give, her, the, give her the right costume. Yeah, give her, the, give her the sharp teeth or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then, boom, you, like, there's your waifu. Like, yeah, you ever? I mean, I've seen like uh, there's memes about like like how to make a girl that's popular on Tumblr or whatever. It's so, like here here yeah. is some element, you know, ba- ba- bags under her eyes, you know, sharp yeah, teeth, I, you know, like I, ca- casual clothes, big ass and titties. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I see that. Short, short, pale, dark hair. Yeah, whatever. I mean, here I am talking shit about that, but that's kind of Bongo and Luna too. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's like. Man, you, you got you can't you can't live in denial. You can't yeah, live you in can't, denial like, that like the formula works and I mean, the formula is popular for a reason and like it's what people want. I mean, yeah, true that dog because like Bonga Luna is just like another slice of life monster girl comic. It's just that like, oh, I know what will make me different. I'll add a clown, and that will be a yeah. type of monster, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And then like, boom, there, there you go. Like, I'm there. Also, it's like. Bongo Luna is like a harem anime without like the harem protagonist, so it's just about the girls. Yeah, that's kind of sure. how, how I saw it at the beginning, but like uh, not anymore. Now it's kind of more like a, it's kind of become like a supernatural soap opera now. Um, yeah. I don't know. Have you have you read Bongo Luna? You don't. You, you can, I have not you can read say, no, it's all. Fine. I've read. I've read pieces of it okay i haven't i haven't read the whole thing through beginning to end uh it's um it's fine like the first 15 or 10 are kind of just like simple gags and then after yeah. that i slowly start a- adding like a plot like a reoccurring character the reoccurring ideas right and when i um yeah it seems like yeah i mean it seems like a lot of um 
don't know if this is the current arc or whatever, but it seemed like, like, um, oh, fuck. Wait, Bong- Bongo. Yeah. Bongo is the blue haired. Yeah, 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 she's And fine. it seems like she's struggling, struggling with, uh, uh, just her inability to find a boyfriend or whatever, right? <laughs> she's like a fr- frustrated straight cis hat. No, no, <laughs> whatever. she, no, she's no? not looking for a boyfriend, no. She's not? No, she's not. Am I crazy? I could swear she's just like, I, I saw one that was like, she's like fucking just frustrated about like, oh, no, okay, I'm fucking well, drunk. Sorry, uh, no. I'm, I'm knee, I'm <laughs> no, knee deep fine. in the sauce. It, it's, it's, well, what, it's fine. Uh, I mean, I mean, you probably just saw like a sporadic, like, cause I post like images of certain panels and you probably constructed some sort of story without realizing. I guess I did. I guess I got the wrong impression. Yeah. N- no, the current, it's a, uh, it's something different. I don't know. Um, no, the only the only guy that Bongo needs is, is me because she's my waifu. She's my homegrown <laughs> waifu. She'll never okay. date anybody else. She can only date me. Uh, hmm. That's yeah. Also, Luna's mom. No, no, you know what? she was she was annoyed. She was annoyed because the other girls were like talking about, or someone was annoyed. They were talking. They were going on dates, and that, there was like a that's yeah yeah that's like kind of that's a lot of the jokes in Bongo. Like I mean, it's okay. it's a simple it's a simple like the the two man like routine thing where it's like. The f- like one's the silly one and one's like the serious one, right? Yeah, sure. And like I, I guess I'm so fucking clever. I made the the serious, <laughs> I made the serious one a clown, and then I made the more livelier one a ghost. God, mm. God, I'm such a fucking, geez, I'm such a you, fucking. You, genius. you, you pulled the rug out from under. I'm us. a fucking genius. I, I, you, you flipped the script. Yeah, exactly. Like fucking, they, I, I should write movies. I mean. Think about it. Yeah, it, that's the shit. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So I think I think we're done with the webtoon and the waifu conversation. Sure. I want to yeah, talk about sure. um your your influences, like specifically like artists that like whether it's like yeah. whether it's like web comic artists or just artists that aren't doing like what you're doing. You know, um, like where do you get your influences I think, from? Uh, I think when I was setting out, I think I started with the idea. Like I, I liked the um I liked like the bold line art of Scott Pilgrim, but I liked the sort of, like, uh, expressive, like, body types and, like, m- motion, like, the dynamic feel of, like, One Piece. Right, of And course. I think I, I think I tried, I think my goal was somewhere in between those two, and then, uh, I don't fucking read <laughs> anything <laughs> anymore so like, I, I think that's it. Uh, it that that was my starting point was i i, I tried that and then it just kind of now it just is whatever it is i i don't know if it really resembles either of those things t- um, too much i would say you're hmm, um your art is a little bit more like a, a wispier scott pilgrim it's it's more it's less i mean scott pilgrim is very uh it's very bold right and very, very stylized, very uh, cartooned. Mine is a little... I like that. Yeah, you Probably I could stand to be a little more like that, but mine is well, a little more... Uh, yeah, it is wispier, yeah. Yeah, it is, it is like a little bit more wispier. I mean, you are... It's also kind of... Yeah, it, it's like... I feel like my art is a little, like, splattery. I don't know. Yeah. Like, there's a little bit of, like... Um, I use, like, fucking big, like, ink. Yeah. Big pen, pen tip shapes and just kind of fucking splat lines down on there sometimes go, go to that's how it feels to me yeah 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 i i, I get that I, I see that in in your art um yeah i i, I think you could use a little bit be more, well i mean because i personally like more cartoony art styles so i'm like hey yeah i do i do too hey, I, like when i see um yeah when i see a figure that's like very well stylized mm-hmm. i'm like that's great that's aspirational mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah that's what I mean, if I were you, I would probably, like, the next project after the Vapors. I mean, I don't know if you already have, like, a project in mind. I would make that a little uh, well, bit more we're, well, I'm doing, well, I'm doing Beast Capades. Or I will be doing Beast Capades while the Vapors 2 Kickstarter is running. Word, word. And that is, that is, that is stylized to the point of being, like, fucking... It's, it's like a video game, kind of, Sloppy. It? It's like... <laughs> It, it's kind of like a video game. It's so I mean, it's it's like I, the point of Beastcapades is that I draw every panel in like fucking ten seconds. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Um, I like shit like that. Like a yeah, I do. I do comics. too. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, the point, the point, the point of Beescapades was supposed to be that I could just churn out as much of it as possible as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, I got sidetracked and did other things. Dude, uh, that's and, that happened. Been sitting that, there for like a year. That happens no matter what you do. Like, yeah. When I started Bongo Luna, I had like I was four comics ahead of myself, and I was yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, and I was pretty good at keeping up to that. And and then like. So much shit comes out of nowhere, or, like, you want to do other things, you know, and it's, like, eventually, like, right now, I'm not even, I'm barely just a week ahead of myself. I'm never, I haven't been, like, ahead of myself by a month in, like, the longest time. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, because life comes at you, man. It's fucking, is is that shit, is that shit. um, people say, I don't know, people tell me, because I don't, I don't do, like, a weekly release schedule. Mm -hmm. I pretty much, I just fucking keep it i play it close to the chest and i don't release anything until like a a thing is done and then i put it all out at once and people tell me that that's bad for engagement and and maybe it is i don't know it it is but your but your comic isn't like a it isn't supposed to be a weekly comic i think that if yeah i think that if you yeah if i put out like one page of vapors at a time like who would want to read just one yeah exactly exactly your comic has that would have like no impact whatsoever your comic's more like some sort of monthly kind of like floppy of a comic you yeah know? like it's like oh. yeah that's kind of what it's supposed to be yeah, yeah. E- exactly so it's like i i get why you don't do the weekly thing like it's not like it's not like bongo luna where it's like every every oh every comic is just like a kind of a joke it has the simple setup and payoff yeah. on, the, on the same page you know and yours is not like that yours got to be like you got to read the whole comic to get the whole gist you know i th- i think so right ex- yeah. exactly like i could one that, like one one can. page would just one yeah one page would just be like a character like looking off screen at something and maybe just like sort of like turning around <laughs> yeah, and walking yeah. away and like that's always like what, what what's the point of yeah, this? Yeah, exactly. Like I mean, I'm I'm currently reading your 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 like daily updates on like um on Vapor's Tree and it's that's what it feels like. You know, it's like okay, so she's like she takes like once like one page, she takes one step, next page, she yeah. takes another step, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, oh, okay, like, yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, exactly, but, like, eh, you know, it's, that's fine. Like, I want to make shit like that. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to see if I can make a comic like that while making Bongo and Luna. I changed up, like, my schedule to, to, yeah. see, to see if it could give me, like, time to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah, because um, there's, there's two more, com- there's two, like, I really want to make, like, two horror comics that are going to be, like, really short, like, Mm. under like 20 pages and i'm gonna see how fast that's I... that's, that's not that's not that short yeah <laughs> okay the first one's gonna be like five i know for i know for a fact the first one's gonna be five because i already have a like rough draft and I, yeah. i've been holding on to that for like months now and the second one i know it's either gonna be okay maybe i'll try to aim for like 10 pages but i'm gonna see how fast i can crank it out to like test myself be- yeah because right after that like i have a i have an idea for like a book i i would want to get kick started but uh-huh. I'm, I want to see how fast I could crank it out you know because I feel like I'm mm-hmm. pretty quick compared to other people but like maybe I don't know maybe you get faster because if I get faster I could like make more comics and I want to make more comics you know mm-hmm. yeah I don't really have like mm-hmm. I, I think I did I tell you that like yeah I killed my social life and I haven't played a video game since like 2016 just to make more comics uh no yeah, um like, I mean has it worked yeah, I mean well like i I think I only ever missed two Bongo Luna updates. Yeah, yeah, and that's that, that was me. That was me when I was drawing Brunswick. Oh yeah, I, I mean, I I, like it only took me. I love Brunswick. It only took me about a month, mm-hmm. but um, I actually, you know, I kind of want to do that. Again. Yeah, it took me about a month, but I was cranking out like a page or more like a day, and I did nothing else, I, and it was sick. I think, and I kind of want to do that with Beescapades. I want to just like fucking blast through the end of Beescapades. Mm-hmm. I think I could do it. I think you should do that, and I think you should yeah. try to do something like that on Webtoon specifically. Okay, the thing about Webtoon, and this pisses me off so much. Yeah. Beescapades would work really well on Webtoon, except that, like, they don't allow GIFs. Like, oh. unless you okay, are, no. like, a feature. Yeah, yeah, like, a if you're a feature, they allow you a GIF, which is so fucked. And, like, it needs to be... So I, I would need to be a featured creator before I could post it. Right, that's true. Oh, wow. <laughs> it fucking makes me mad. <laughs> Yeah, that is so shit. That it. is so shitty. Which is, which, uh, which is why you should probably uh, make another comic that won't require a gift. Uh, that's the last thing I need. 
is to make another comic. <laughs> I mean, after Beescapade, it's not like do it now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, it's, it's up. It's up to you, man. It's like because I'm, I'm, I want to get to a point where um, originally my original plan was gonna be okay. I'm gonna try to see if I can make Bongo Luna my main like money maker, my main source of income. And yeah. it's happening, but incredibly slowly. And I'm thinking, mm-hmm. okay, maybe I feel like I need to. Um, I mean, you're. It, it seems like you're growing to me. I'm, I'm growing pretty quick. I'm, I'm growing pretty yeah. quickly compared to other people. But like, yeah. But like, uh, the bills are due tomorrow with me. So oh. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, if, if you get what I'm, if you get what I'm saying. So it's like I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah, this could be a little quicker, which is why like I'm so focused on marketing and like the best way to get my comic out there. And and it has. Um, I think also Twitter is a good like marketing tool because um, especially, yeah. especially if you're like posting art because I've actually gotten a lot of people to subscribe to Bongo Luna by the little um, Twitter posts I, I do like once in a while I do a thing where it's like oh reply with your OC and I'll draw it right and then I get a lot of people like just following me because of that well I mean I also put in fine prints that I'm only doing this for followers so then people mm-hmm. see that and they like I'm basically saying follow me and I'll draw your OC right without making it sound so like uh like like i'm fucking desperate you know right yeah like making yeah, it sound yeah. like very subtle and that's that has been the, growing bongo luna a little bit i i did a thing like that on a couple years ago i did something like that on the topastic forums mm-hmm. where um i would i would just go on there and i would just start a thread and be like hey guys i'll draw your i'll draw <laughs> you. no no yeah. no i had a gimmick it was like Describe to me your OC. Don't show me a picture. Oh, I will. I will draw. I will draw what I think they look like from the way you describe. Yeah, I, I seen people do that. Yeah, yeah. Where it's yeah, or they'll do that with like uh, describe a fictional popular character, and I'll try to draw it right to like the best yeah. of their abilities. Yeah, I seen people do. That sounds pretty cool. I might so do I, that next time. I, I I did that. I I mean, it didn't grow my <laughs> audience at all. It was, I, but whatever. Well, like fine. Tapas is very like. There's one thing I okay. The difference. That I noticed from posting on Tapas to posting on Webtoons, you grow a lot faster on Webtoons than on yeah, than, really than on Tapas. Yeah, because on Tapas, okay, so on Tapas, I have I posted all my comic and they're updating at the same time, both Webtoon and Tapas. But on Tapas, I only have like forty one followers, and on Webtoons, mm-hmm. I'm like have like sixteen hundred right now. Last I checked, god right? damn. Yeah, so it it has yeah it has been growing. Um, although I've got, I've got like four thousand followers on Tapastic, but I feel like I think Tapastic is dying. Yeah, yeah, not gonna lie. So that I never really like Tapastic's like format. I feel like, I feel like the page is too cluttered. Like when you yeah. look at the comic, there's like too yeah, much bullshit it, it, around yeah. you. When you read a webtoon comic, it's just the comic. So you just scroll and you just see just the comic. But on Tapas, it's like, why do you gotta add like bullshit under the under the comic, on top of the comic, on the side of the comic? It's like too much shit going on. I just want to look at the comic, mm-hmm. right? And I think I think that's like if if Tap is like changed that up, I feel like it'd be more popular. But it it's it hasn't done it, so it's like fuck. Also, what I like, but I, one thing I like about Tap is more than webtoons is that you could schedule the comic, so it just uploads like by itself at midnight. On webtoons, I actually have to go, and like upload it exactly on midnight which is so like wait you can't you can't schedule on no you can't schedule webtoons? on webtoons that's like the biggest oh, like fuck. sucks i was gonna um, yeah i've yeah, i i had like i put vapors three up on topastic and i just set it to like it's it's just been automatically right right I, releasing I that. god that blows okay I, I didn't know you couldn't do that on webtoon no, you can't. Ugh, why is every every fucking platform has like one or two things that just suck about it? That's uh, that's. <laughs> welcome, There's not not what nothing is good. Welcome to the free market, Ben. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna I was gonna go to the webtoon panel at Comic Con and complain about that, but they didn't have a panel this year, so I was like, fuck. Also, I was gonna yeah. shill. I was gonna shill there too. Cause, yeah, c- yeah. Because every time you go up there, they ask you, "Oh, do you make a comic?" And I'll and I'll be like, "Yes, I make Bongo and Luna." And then everyone would look it up because everyone there already already has a webtoon, right? So it's like a guaranteed guaranteed at least maybe ten or twenty people, twenty new subscribers that day. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But they didn't do it, so I couldn't chill. And now I said it out loud, so they might they might like look out for me, be like, "Yo, watch out for this clown. He's gonna come and chill." 
Oh, sh- that's... <laughs> Watch out for that fucking clown, Watch out dudes. for that clown, dude. Oh, okay, that's a... Avoid the clown. Oh, wait, speaking of shilling, there is, like, a yeah. very anti-shilling attitude on, like, online with artists, right? Like, people... Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people do hate it when you shill. So, like, the thing is, you gotta be subtle when you shill, you know? Mm-hmm. Right? Because, like, if I, th- if I had less yeah. self-control, I would be, like, out there, like... Bongo Luna mentioning it every every single time, which I do, I do that anyway. But like the things like the comic, the thing like the commissions where you commission artists to draw your character, that's like a subtle like shout out, you know. Um, mm-hmm. I the I guess not the Monkey Jones or the Digibro shout outs; those weren't really that subtle. But no, <laughs> but like um, in that case, that's more like all right because it's like the whole gist was to pay for a shout out, you know. You can like. Uh... Man, I don't know. You could be... I mean, you could spend all day, every day, just, like, going around to forums mm-hmm. and message boards and just post, just posting your shit. You yeah, know? yeah, that's true. Well, like, and, I mean, probably there is some benefit... There, probably there would be some benefit to that. I mean, I, I guess... I don't know. I, I assume there's some kind of correct balance between, like... Y- Making your making your shit and yeah, going yeah. around showing your shit that's probably I, needs to be struck and I I have no idea what I, that is so I just do basically none of the former. <laughs> I, I, I think um I think a big thing that like I notice is kind of like your social connections are also like are a good marketing tool, you know? Yeah. Like oh I mean I mean it's about who you know. Right? right. Exactly. Like for example, I'm gonna tell you the story of how I first found out about you. Um, I was yeah. I was watching the Pizza Party podcast. And they um they had Digibro on, and then I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, I like this Digibro guy. I'm gonna check out his stuff. And then Digibro talked a lot about something called the PCP that he's on, and I'm like, ah, uh, that sounds gay. I'm not gonna watch that. And <laughs> definitely. And but th- yeah. but then but then okay. But here's the thing. And then the monkey the monkey Jones drama happened with the PCP, and then I finally oh. th- that made me want to oh, check out. Okay. That yeah, that made me want to check out PCP, God. and then I found this out is, about all of you guys. <laughs> this is um, yeah, that sounds right. The, okay, I have so many thoughts on on this particular subject because like, it is, it's it's regrettable, right? Like like yeah. you get you get you get famous from controversy, right? Yeah, you get famous you get famous by like having a disagreement and like people take sides this... and like there's drama and people fight and that's that generates interest and people find you right through that stuff right i mean i hate it i hate that that's true but it is true that, yeah that's how no it one works. no one else on the pcp understands this like it's story, literally story some, all time. even even digi who is like <laughs> he has done that so many times like that has been what has like made him even he fails to understand se- seems to fail to understand mm-hmm. that like that is the kind of thing that would make the pcp get bigger like when the monkey jones thing was happening like everyone treated it like it was oh this terrible thing that like we this is ruining our channel i was like no this is how people are gonna i mean this is how people are gonna find out about us and like nobody leaned into it did you guys and check then when, your when, analytics when, did you guys check your and analytics when, when that happened uh i'm sure i did a bit yeah i i yeah like i'm i'm pretty sure there yeah i'm pretty sure it spiked oh, to a nice. certain extent and then um but then it died down again right. and then like when monkey when monkey messaged me asking like you know if it would be funny if he were to come back as a guest, I was like, hell yeah, this is, this is what, this is what people want. And everyone else, nobody else agreed. I was like, no, that would be, no, we shouldn't. Ooh, I don't want to touch that with it. Like, fuck off. Like, why are you taking this so seriously? I, look, look, here, here's what you got to do. Like, cause, cause Digi is, is, is the kind of guy that gets in a lot of controversies. Um, yeah. If, 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 if you could somehow like tell Digi that every time he gets in a controversy to, to kind of show PCP somehow. Like that's gonna grow yeah. your channel. That's gonna grow the channel every time. <laughs> he, he, I don't know if he does that. Like he, he used sometimes he did. Like on the on the Pizza Party podcast, yeah. I guess he did, which is good. I don't know if he does it anymore. I, I don't think he. Uh, I can't remember if he mentioned the PC. Maybe he did in, in his in his. I only, I don't know. I only ever seen it twice, and it's been a while. But yeah, go on. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, he should do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he just he just uh, he's he he shills, he just shills for Jesse now. Oh yeah, he. I that's, mean, yeah, he does that's, that a lot. That's what he. That's what. That's what he's into. <laughs> uh, Jesse's all right. <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> what about the rest of? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I check out. Did you? Did you? Did you? Fucking stands Jesse as hard as it's oh, possible yeah. to do oh, yeah, for he, a human being. Oh yeah, he does. Which is like, I mean, 
cool. Like you know, that's more you, more more power to. I him, mean, I yeah, cool. Like you you're helping out your dog. That's cool and all. I mean, I'm not the yeah, biggest sure. Jesse fan, but yeah, good, yeah, that's dope. Um, it's fine. Yeah, it's great. And that, no, good for him. Yeah, th- no, good for you. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm I'm not, not mad. Bitter, I'm not mad. Right? I'm not mad. At anything. I'm definitely not mad. The I'm thing about what I'm saying is that I'm definitely not mad. I'm not, That's the thing. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you ask because I'm not bothered. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like I'm not bothered. It's, yeah. Can't you hear right. in my voice how unbothered I am? I can. It's coming through loud and clear. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, that's like. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, so, so it is. Whatever. It is what you we need know. More shilling. We need. We need more controversies. I might. I might have to start fighting people more. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like the that's that's like what uh, I mean. That's like where a lot of the PCP audience comes from in the first place. Is like just the fact that Digi's on it. Like I think probably the majority of people first mm-hmm. heard about Digi and then and then found the PCP through him. Sad but true. Yeah. Sad reality of, of the situation. Yeah, that is, that is true. But um. No, you guys, you guys are good. Yeah, you guys are good. I'm not. I don't think I have been in any controversy yet. I haven't been in any controversy yet. I just might. I... It's like straight up. Just it's just straight up is good. Yeah, it like is. Like anything. Like and like any controversy that doesn't literally land you in jail just <laughs> is good for you. Yeah, like I mean, look at like like the this is like the, go, the always the go to example. But you know, a Logan Paul or some. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, he's doing fine. He's doing so fucking good. Oh, like after the suicide forest. After thing? Su- yeah, he's doing like better than ever. He's all he's like, all right. That's why I that's why I even have ever heard about him. Right, exactly. Is, be- is because of the fucking suicide forest thing. Right, exactly. It's it's like the controversy. As long as like no one is straight getting murdered, someone could get suicided, yeah. but no one needs to get murdered. You'll be fine. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. It's for us. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, but me whatever. too. That's that's uh, that's capitalism. I blame it's, ca- ca- it's, it's capitalism. It's capitalism. It's capitalism. It is. It's old man capitalism. Back, Come back to do more back, dirty back deeds. Back at it again, making us fight so we could get more people to read our fucking web comics. He just loves it. He just can't get he, enough. He can't, he can't get enough. Can't get enough. All right. So let's see what's <sighs> what's next on the. Okay, so we already talked about your influences. Uh, we already talked about social capital and like who you know and whatnot. Um, mm. Okay, so. I... I can't, uh, I don't know how long you want to go. Okay, so, um, I want to... not saying we have to end right now or anything, but, like... No, no, it's fine. It's just, um... Okay. Um, I'm looking to see if anyone's got any, like... I'm looking at the questions that people are suggesting, and I'm trying to see which ones aren't awful. Uh, yes. (laughs) On on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. On Twitter. Yeah, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty whatever. Like, there's one, okay, there's one, um, have you seen, um, William Baker asked... Idub's latest documentary, Full Force, about airsoft fatty seems up Ben's alley. Has he seen it? Have you seen um, Idub's latest video called Full Force? I am only vaguely aware of who Idub's is. Okay, well, I I seen it. It's a basically there's like a there's a small YouTuber called Airsoft Fatty, and he's like this a very a very large very large man who lives in yes. like I think in the Midwest Midwest in some kind of like poduck town kind of like a who gives a shit kind of town and he makes a lot of videos where he plays with lightsabers with his friends right and mm-hmm. and idubs is very fascinated with this guy so he goes out there to meet with him and it's like a whole documentary um uh that actually does sound pretty cool yeah it's pretty good and um and then he asks, would would he like to do the same thing then, okay so they asked you would you like to do something like that like where you go out there and meet someone well well my you probably do that really, with like Chris Chan, maybe. I I did meet Chris Chan at BronyCon. Yeah. I don't really care about meeting people in real life. Mm-hmm. What I I mean, um, you know that I was trying to make the um the uh, Legend of the Ten Elemental Masters audiobook yeah, happen yeah, for yeah. a while there. Yeah, that and um, that got canceled, right, or something, or it got. Uh, Ulu Lilia just kind of flaked on the whole thing, mm-hmm. and like every once in a while, I will like message. I, actually, no, I should probably send him another. Ma- I sent him one like a week and a half ago, mm-hmm. just just sort of to touch base, yeah. not to like pressure him into it. And he he responded in a sort of like, uh, oh, hey, I, mean, yeah. I don't know. I just need to. I don't know what I. I, I don't know how to deal with him. I, like I want to. I want to put, like, my my initial approach was to put the carrot on the stick of, like, hey, if you let me make this thing for you, it will make you money, which is true. Right. But it just didn't motivate, that just didn't motivate him. So, like, because some men I mean, I know, I, I know, I know that he needs money. He, he, <laughs> he was, he was, well, he was telling me that he was, like, 
when he responded, he said he was like depressed, and he said that he like his job sucked, and he needed to find a new one. Uh huh. And I was, and so I don't know. Maybe maybe now's the time to bait the hook. I think maybe now's the time. I think you should just do it anyway. Fuck it. I I was talking about this on stream on my Twitch yeah, the other yeah. day. Were you there? Were you no, there for that? I, I I wasn't on there. No. Oh, oh okay. Um, but but there was um. I probably AJ. popped in for like a second, but and by then I listened to this. Yeah. Part. Well, there was a part where I was talking about this Ulalia thing, and AJ also said, like, you should just do it. And I was like, well, I don't know. It kind of falls into a dubious area of, like, you know, copyright and, uh, like, ethics. Oh, uh, damn. Okay, so I'm going me- like, like, to mention, yeah. this reminds me of something. Um, maybe, maybe this could be some controversy. Maybe we could benefit out of this. But there was this local artist who lived in my town, and I really fucked with his music. I never met him, but I found out for him He's- for, like, video recommendations, right? And, yeah. and this was back when I still wanted to, when I was still focused on filmmaking. And I thought to myself, okay, so the short film game isn't working out, but music videos are popular and people around my city are always like trying to make music videos. So maybe I could get into that. And and I was looking for an artist that I like. And then I found this guy and I was like, oh, I fuck with his music. And I'm pretty sure I can make a music video in his same aesthetic. And I did. I made this video. And the whole point of the video was to just catch his attention, right? Like if you saw my video... He would be like, oh, yeah. shit, that's fire. Oh, uh, yeah, you, let's let's make videos together, right? So I made the video, and it's it's it got kind of popular. It's it's shared. It's still okay. being shared, like, on Facebook when I posted it. Like, all sorts of people still okay. share it. And um, and I send him... Pretty good. Yeah, I send him a link, and I'd be like, yo, I made this music video off of your song, dude, and left me on scene. Wait, he did what? He left me on scene. Like he saw that I sent the message, but oh, didn't he reply. didn't. Oh, he didn't respond. Yeah, he didn't okay. reply back. Right. So, so you you used his you used his song and you made a video. Yeah, I used the song to make a video. Right, and then he left me on scene, I mean, and it's kind of like I mean, like, it'd be, I, I mean, mean, you didn't mo- you didn't monetize it. No, I'm like I'm making no money off of the video, right? I mean, that's just like that's weird. That is, that is kind of like I mean, I, like I don't know. There's been way bigger people that I DM'd. And be like, yo, yeah. I made this, and like they have replied back, but like he, like he just didn't say anything. I mean, the guy makes his mm. own videos, but they're kind of they're all right. Um, huh? I don't know, man. I mean, if I were him, and it like, if the video's good, and like if the video's getting shared, I'd be like, hey, like, can I like, I don't know, like, let's make let's, I'll publish this too. I don't know. It just seems yeah, like free yeah. publicity. Yeah, it is because you. I'm basically like, if someone made you like like a fan comic or something and it was really good you would want to like share it right or maybe he thought yeah yeah absolutely maybe he thought it was trash maybe he just didn't fuck with it <sighs> maybe yeah I maybe know. like i don't know <laughs> or maybe i mean maybe he was making a video for it too and he didn't want well, yours to like I th- beat him to the punch or something or i mean damn he could have then then again i don't know like i don't know maybe he's like not that social maybe he has something because maybe yeah it could because it could be like um like, yeah, that could be the case. I mean, he could have told me, like, oh, I'm making a music video for this, actually. Um, but, like, maybe we could upload mine first, and then you upload yours, right? Mm-hmm. And I've been like, okay, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm fine with that, right? I w- I've been totally down with it, but no, I just didn't. I just didn't care. And, it, and like, for a friend of another friend, because, like, I have... Because, like, if you know five people in my in my city, you know, like, everybody, basically. Um, yeah. Like, know about him, and they say that he's kind of, like... Like, I don't know, he, someone sent him, like, an email once, and he was kind of, like, a douche about it. So I'm like, hmm. Mm. I don't know, then, like, I don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe I should pick a fight with him. Maybe it might grow my uh, comic. Uh, if, if he's got an audience, yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's the thing, you pick, you pick a fight, you pick a fight with someone you yeah. knew, someone who doesn't, someone that, if, the, if you pick a fight with someone where there's, like, there's no crossover in your audience... Then like you're purely reaching a new. You're not alienating that, your current fan base. That, you're just reaching true. a whole new audience. Yeah. Um, right. Exactly. Um. I'm, but it's. Eh, I don't know. I, was, I don't do it. It's something that like I think in my mind would be like it would be really beneficial if I were to like start drama and pick fights with people. Like I I genuinely believe that, right. but I don't do it. I, I do too because it's like because like I don't know. Sometimes you might think it might make you look like the dumbass or the asshole in the situation because i feel like if i do, do if i do do this controversy like people are going to be like oh well like he literally owes you nothing like he never asked you to make the music video in the first place 
right? Yeah. But, like, even in controversies where, like, clearly one person is a dumbass, they still benefit. Like in they the, might, yeah, yeah, exactly. They might. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's probably possible to look like such a douche when you do it that like all you get is haters. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, definitely, that's 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 possible. I don't know, but like it, like it kind of doesn't matter how many haters you have. Like if you even make like, I kind of feel like even if you make like a thousand haters, but like one fan, yeah. like that's worth it. Like the haters don't matter. I mean, then like there's people who hate haters and they might check out your shit. You know? Yeah. Like. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because like, if, if there's someone that I don't like and they're talking shit about something, I'm like, okay, that might be good because I know that person sucks. <laughs> every, every, everyone hates Dark Side Phil. Doesn't matter. He's still successful. Yeah, he's still around. He's still afloat. Yeah. Like, he's, he made himself like to be one of like the biggest idiots ever. But it's like... Yeah. I mean, that's just like, kind of like... He's kind of like a low-cal, right? Like, Nobody likes him. Nobody takes him seriously. Everyone thinks he's a fucking rube. But it makes no difference. And he has, he has a fucking girlfriend, too, which is like... Sure, yeah. Yeah, it's like, well, like, fuck. <laughs> he must I mean, be doing something right. Exactly. Right? <laughs> exactly. All right. Okay, so... All right, so now... Okay, we're going we're gonna to ask two more questions, and I think we're done. Okay. Okay. So, question... I'm game. Okay, question number one is, what are... What, what, what's, what's your future plans? What's in store for Ben Saint? Uh, that's pretty, um... Um, well, I've been... Another thing that I have been wasting time... I should have been working on the Vapors Kickstarter, right? I took a bunch of time <laughs> out to design a bunch of, like, uh, Endless War pins. Yeah. I want to, like... After the after the Vapors Kickstarter, I want to do another Kickstarter for, like, some Endless War pins, mm-hmm. right? You, you, ever, you ever make pins? You ever fuck with that? Uh, no, but I'm constantly around people who are making pins, yeah. Yeah, it's... Well, I don't know. The, you have to make them in bulk, right? Yeah. You can't, yeah. Oh, yeah, on, definitely. You can't, you can't make them make... on demand. You you have to order like like a uh, big runs of them right exactly so so the idea is like you have to kickstart it in order to like have the capital right in order to invest in making the the batch or whatever right. so I, I would like to do that because i have some i don't know because this would be cool to have some physical shit that, that would be and it wouldn't cool. it wouldn't be that expensive so i feel like a lot of people would be willing to contribute something to that how, um yeah how much would you need to make a pin kickstarter how much uh, how much would the goal be uh, the uh, pro- printing a hundred mint like minting a hundred pins is about costs about two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. So I mean that I mean there's that plus like shipping costs and like I don't know. Hmm. I'd probably I would probably want to set and and like plus like you know it would be nice to make at least some money off of it. I so mean, yeah, that too. I would. I would I would probably want to, and, and and we would do more than one at a time. So I would probably we'd we'd start with like two designs, right? Maybe like two designs. Start that. Maybe set the 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 the, the goal to like actually make them at maybe like five hundred right, or some right. above that, and then like have like every like couple hundred dollars above that maybe unlock like a new design. Okay, oh, okay, now we can also make this third one. Okay, now we can also make a fourth one, oh, okay. and it'd be like. Pledge for however many you want, and then like pick which ones from the set you you want, or all of them, or whatever. Would, would you? Would you like after you make them? Do you sell them or like just? It's like if you pitch in, you're by default already buying them. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like yeah, you would be pledging, you know, like you know, however many dollars, and you'll you'll get and, you'll get and, one it, by the and fall. in exchange you get however many pins. Right, right. Yeah, like from from the ex- yeah, like you're buying them through the Kickstarter. Okay, but all but but you're also funding like the um you know the the the, the making of like the whole batch. Right, exactly. You know I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. where like the the prof that's where the profit margin goes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so that. So okay. So anyway, I've been working on that. At some point, I'll do that. Right now, I'm working on getting Vapors Two ready to be kickstarted. I have been fucking. I have been sitting on that for so long. I, I just have to fucking get it done. All right. It's nice. It's lame. <laughs> and then once it's run, while it's running, I want to work on Beescapades. I would like to maybe spend a couple months doing Beescapades and get it done and finished. And then when that's done, I want to move back to... I want to go back to doing Champion. I want to, like, go back to doing Champion, like, regularly and make that, like, my flagship thing. Nice. Yeah, that's that's my that's my goal. All right, that's fucking... That's, that's sound, my tentative how, uh, step-by-step plan. you think plan. you'll have all of this done by next year, or is it going to take, like, two years? What do you think? What do you estimate? I think... Uh, I think that maybe by sometime next year, I could go back... I could be done with all that and make champion and and just be like okay all that other stuff 
sorted. Time to focus on champions. Are you going to, like, have the Kickstarter during, like, December? Like, the month where more people are more likely to give out money to you? I, I, th- I don't know. I think that's, like, statistically proven that it's in, during the December months that people are more likely to spend money. Just because Christmas, you know, but, like... Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, that's what I heard. Maybe. Well, I mean, I want. I, I mean, I just want to do the. I want to do the Vapors Two Kickstarter as soon as as soon as possible. Word. And then maybe the pins we could do like later in the year, mm-hmm. and then sometime next year, hopefully finish Beast Capades. I don't know, uh, man. It's all. I feel it. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get something, either actually published or self published by next year, because I wanna. I want it, like. Not transition out of web comics, but like see if I can make more income out of like traditional comics. People like to own books, right? People, people really like. There's a, I mean, it's not everyone, but there is definitely a crowd that mm-hmm. just really appreciates the owning of a physical object that you can put on your shelf or, or whatever. I mean, that's that's me, dude. I just like there's like books on my shelf. That's right fun. Now it's funny. It's funny. I haven't read. It's but... funny. That's really not. That's really not me. <laughs> So, <laughs> like, I don't care. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I get that. I mean, I wish I wasn't like that because then I have, like, I have a whole, you know, like, the long boxes where they keep the comics? Like, I have one in my room. Yeah. And it's all, like, yeah. like I know for a fact there's some there's some comics in there that I'm not going to go back and reread, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, I just have it because... It's good. It, I, get, I get it. I do get the satisfaction of it. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, no, I think there's, like... There's, if you have any audience at all, yeah. I think there's definitely a um, subset of it that would be like, yeah, I would, I'd like to have this. I'd like to be able to hold this in my yeah. Hands. My well, my plan was to well, first what I was gonna do was kind of I was gonna just post it online for anyone to read, and it was gonna be it's gonna be like six issues of this. I'm, I'm I'm gonna come up with like this Japanese superhero character that's gonna be like the most self indulging mm. comic I'm ever gonna make. Because I'm, I'm a big fan of, uh, uh, you know, Tokusatsu, you know, like uh, Kamen Rider, Ultraman, yeah, yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So I'm gonna basically just get everything, every little thing that I like about it. I'm just gonna shove it into one book, and just kind of yeah. like make the book, just make the book that's just designed for just like someone like me to enjoy, like really. I mean, you sh- just just for oh, me. Oh yeah, right? yeah. You're, you make make the kind of thing you want to see. Yeah, like if I was yeah, because when I was younger, I was really into like shit like Astro Boy. I would read the Astro Boy comics. That was, mm-hmm. like, my jam, right? So it's, like, this is, like, something cool. that if I was younger, I would, like, enjoy. So I'm just going to do that. And But the thing is, like, that's a big departure from, like... Because right now, like, my main my main audience is, like, uh, clown shit and, like, monster girl, <laughs> monster girl shit. Like, that's, like, the market I cornered. Yeah. And now it's, like, yeah. I'm going to have to make this leap into, like, common writer shit. Right, but... Well, you should, um... I mean, you should, you should print... You should print Bongo and Luna. I, I'm, I'm debating it. Because originally, like, well, cause it's designed okay. to be just read on your phone, but, sure. but it's like, oh, damn, how am I going to format it to be, like, in a book? Um, I mean, you could just, uh, you know, just, like, arrange the panels on a, you know, have them scroll do vertically down a page, print, like, a narrow book, maybe. <laughs> I, I think you could make it work. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I recently I went to a bookstore and I found, like, a, a physical version of a, of a Webtoon comic. And I look through it, I'm like, yeah. oh, this looks fine. It's just, I mean, it's just, yeah. the panels look a little bit too big than regular panels, but this isn't half bad. I'm, I mean, you'll have, um, I mean, you'll have, like, white space. Right. But, like, be a, that's fine. Yeah, that'd be a shame. Yeah, people do it. Okay, I might, I might try that out. Um, I, I, it's, you know, you've, I mean, you've got, you've got all this work done. You put all this work into Bongo and Luna. Like, why not? Yeah, that's true. And then it'll give me something why, to, Why like, not? Uh, te- you know why not squeeze it like it's yours right. you made it it's it's yours why not squeeze a, a more value out of it if you can that's that is true okay i just i just mm-hmm. might i might just look into that it'll give me a reason to like have like a a booth like at a small convention or something because like oh yeah cause i have nothing to sell except, except for like stickers and i'm like okay well now i have like a physical what? comment i've al- i've always meant i've always meant to um i've always meant to do a booth Somewhere, I man, I really wanted to table at Mice. Mm-hmm. Um, the um, oh fuck, yeah, like a something indies. independent yeah, in the com- comics expo. Yeah, yeah. It's in Bo- it's in Boston or it's in like Somerville or whatever. Word. 
Uh, and I fucking missed the. Damn. It was I miss miss registration two years in a row. Uh, I hate it. Uh. Um, I I don't know. I I, I don't. Like at like at BronyCon, right? Yeah. Like you have a booth at BronyCon, you gotta sell fan shit, right? right at anime exactly. conventions, you you, you sell anime, fan shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I it, it would be kind of like I know I probably wouldn't get a lot of eyes because it would be original shit that no one's ever seen before. Right. But like I, you know, it's like once I have maybe once I have a second book, yeah. Like I, I could have been doing it all. I could have been doing it all this time, right? Because I have a book, I could sell a book. Yeah, yeah. But you know, once I have two, that's double. That's double the value. Um, Isn't there like uh, it, there, it would just be fun? It would just be fun to, to table at a thing and like you know meet meet other right, artists. Right, it's, it's a good place to network. You know, someone. Yeah, that that's mostly what I want to do it for. Yeah, someone like bigger than you might just start following you on Twitter, and then Twitter just Twitter endorses people that you follow. So like, if yeah. someone big follows you, then that there that person is unintentionally like endorsing you, right? Absolutely. Right. That could yeah, like, yeah. Like a benefit could benefit you oh i wish you... oh i wish i hadn't missed registration this year <laughs> all right you'll, you'll get a next you get a next time champ don't worry Ugh. yeah you, and like you know who follows me in, in a year and a half yeah, yeah. Who, who follows you uh pan peaks has started following me now really yeah well he's been i'm gonna say i'm just gonna say real quick uh we've been dming each other back and forth a little bit nothing like major okay. we're not like fucking we're not gonna fucking plant something together it's just like random shit just clown shit like about like i'm just, just hashtag just clown thing. Just clown, th- yeah. Because like, like I said, every time someone mentions clowns, like I'm brought into it because I cornered the market. I'm there. I'm there. It's on. Yeah. It's on my fucking hat. <laughs> mm-hmm. But um, okay. So, all right. So we talked enough about plans. All right. This is gonna be the last question. Um, all right. So I kind of wanna for this podcast, I wanna like leave like the listeners something to kind of like not really homework, but something they could like bite their teeth into. Uh, there's of course like your comic, which I'm gonna like. I'll put links to all your shit like down in the comments. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So you'll get you'll get the you'll get all the shout outs and whatnot. Give me that exposure. Yeah, you dog. know, you, you know, we'll get people to read the Vapors, Brunswick, Champion. What else do you fucking do? Uh, be, be, beast capades. Beast capades. Right. And uh, God, that's probably yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. But he has a YouTube channel. He has a very watch my fucking Sonic you lecture. Yeah, that's like oh fuck, damn. We haven't even talked. Yeah, we haven't about talked. To, a, I wanted to that, talk about that's that. The, that's the thing that most people know me for. Yeah, that is either be, being on the PC. No, I, pro, no, way more. Like way more people in the world you, know right, me well, for being the the son the Sonic Okay, guy. we're not ending this just yet. Let's talk about the Sonic video. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, but um, yeah, because I, ha- I have this down on my fucking notes because uh, I I list down like his biggest notoriety and I'm like, oh, of course it's Sonic Chew video and we oh you know yo i think you asked me about that what was my bump and like yeah um yeah i, I said guess. t-bap but like i said t-bap but at the same time on the i i mean i don't know yeah I, god I, I have no idea like to what extent the sonichu video okay like people a lot of the people that know me now like like i kind of like i know merriweather and yeah. like i know um like sriracha yeah i, I and, assume like, uh, i assume you they they learned about you through that video right they, they they know they know about me because of um the Sonichu video um like a Dick Dick Masterson followed me on Twitter <laughs> because of like because of some of the monkey drama <laughs> which I'm like somewhat uh, tangential yeah. to oh, in a boy. way um, <laughs> oh boy I'm I guess I'm there's a couple of different things that people might know me for but like yeah like like the 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 Sonichu lecture has like eight is like eight hundred thousand views or yeah, something and- it's you, I don't think you mentioned that you make a comic in that lecture. I do link to it at the end, and like the the, I link to my website. I think. I think. I think that maybe okay because you're gonna make like a follow up video to that, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Th- at Red th- at Redcon Four, the plan is that I'll do a like modern Chris right. uh, thing where I talk about like post transition and like right. where the comics went right, exactly. from there. I, I I like your which I haven't which I haven't even read because everyone says they're terrible and just so boring. <laughs> it's all it's like a bunch of My Little Pony shit. Oh, I mean you're you're kind of into that, right? Or like nah. you're right. <laughs> That's you know up what? your alley. Suddenly, suddenly I have a hunger. Suddenly <laughs> I'm I have a hunger of like I have. <laughs> How have I not read? I okay, okay. You know, maybe I'll do that after this is over. I'll just go to fucking the Wikipedia but, and just read the next, okay, the next chapters the, of this shit. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I'd I'd do that after you finish your vapor shit first, dog. 
because oh, I mean just read it. Not oh, okay, make yeah. lecture. All right, word, I mean, word. Yeah. okay, yeah. That next lecture, she, she's she's slow. She's slow to release. Shit. Uh, oh, of course. Yeah, that's the great yeah. thing about comics. You could, could you could be as much of a control freak as you want. It's all good. Um, that's right. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, and I I I really liked your lecture. I thought your lecture was really good because like it's very unique compared to all the other like because there's. I mean, the Chris Chan documentary is like its own genre now, you know, like yeah. every other the, motherfucker the, the, has the a documentary. Le- the lecture, I, I think there's something, okay, like I've literally, I've been a teacher like in classrooms before. So I, mm-hmm. I mean, I guess I brought a little bit of experience in that regard. Yeah. And then uh, the lecture, the lecture format where like there's people there and like we're all friends and like, you know, they're like asking questions and we're kind of like joke, joking and goofing around. I, I think, I think there's something really strong. There's something and very, compelling about there's that. something very, uh, like the same kind of vibe. Like, you know, when you listen to a podcast, it kind of feels like you're hanging out with friends. That's yeah. like the vibe you get when you listen to like the lecture. It's like, you're just sitting down there, huh, climbing around with your buds, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like the same so kind of vibe. I, so like, uh, like my, at Radcon, Two, I I didn't make a another one, mm-hmm. and I really should have. I really should have. Did you um, did you get um any spikes from the uh, tr- tails gets trolled videos? Yeah, not as big as the first one, but uh you know, but uh, definitely another spike from that one. Okay, uh for sure. The- so, yeah, I I have to I have to do more like that. I, like at Radcon Four, I want to do at least two more lectures. But like honestly, like I. The the smart thing to do would just do nothing but like just do as just cram as many of them as I can into a small time period as that, possible. That that is true. Then yeah, did you, you know you know what been a good shitling opportunity would be if you gave like um Christina like a free copy of the vapors or something. Because then she would have taken a picture of it and she would have been like, "Have you? I I don't know if you've seen what I've been doing today." On oh, yeah, I I saw the whole Yang edits. <laughs> and Christine tells me. I'm I'm like I'm cuz t- cuz Maggie Chan her it, her um her wife right her, her in ca- uh, uh husband but yeah oh, her husband yeah Maggie Chan's a guy yeah but um Christine has her in character Maggie Chan account responds to me saying that like <laughs> Chris does not own or wear a Yang 2020 shirt <laughs> and I and I say like and I like I call him a boomer and I say that he probably supports Biden and fuck you <laughs> and I hope this doesn't yeah, destroy saw, your marriage. I saw that. I saw that. And then, and then, and then he responds again, saying, "Yang, you like I don't like this meme." And also, Yang's not going to be president. Lisa Simpson is going to be president <laughs> in 2020. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm God. I want him to respond again. Oh, I man. I just want him to sell like sell. I just want him to sell me on Lisa Simpson. Yeah. Like, why should I support? Like, if you can convince me, I will support Lisa Simpson Dude, over Andrew Yang. Uh, I would. I, I would suggest you guys had like some sort of fight. Then you're going to get a controversy out of it. That's what I want. That's what I want. I literally did all of this just to no, make her mad, it, so it, she well, would beef with me. We'll, we'll, we'll stage. We could. We could make like a fake controversy. You and me. Yeah. We could make one. Um, I'm trying to think of what though. I don't know because we agree. We agree um, on a lot of things. We do. Yeah. So I, th- it, I think we do. It's kind of tough. I don't, we should film like a fake fight video or something where we meet up, and like it's only like a 10 <laughs> second clip. Where, like, one of us throws a punch, and then I'll post, like, fake pictures of me bleeding, like, oh, this is what Ben Saint did to me. And then... Yeah. And- <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Uh, we got into a fight at a convention. <laughs> and I'll just, like, I'll just, I'll just like, uh, try and uh, delete comments. I'll just be, like, deleting <laughs> oh, comments yeah, yeah. left and Don't right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't even reply, just delete comments. Trying to censor comments. it. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna get, make, like... like... file a false DNCA takedown on your tweets or whatever. Oh, like, get God. your Twitter suspended. Oh, my God. Send, her, send a harassment mob after you. <laughs> oh, perfect. Perfect. And then... Yeah. Yeah, well, huh, just like, just like real billionaires, we work both sides. We control both sides of the argument. Hell yeah, dude! That's 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 where the money's. Okay, at. so okay, so I was just gonna suggest that in the next follow up Christian video, uh, you know, be be a little sly, reference that you make a comic or something, or I don't know, or um. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, yeah. I definitely should do I, some. Yeah, something like that. You know, be a little sly. As a as a as a comic artist myself, a, here's my hot <laughs> here's my hot take about the the. Where the comic is going, where Sonichu's going, one hundred, one hundred percent. As a yeah. comic artist myself, wink to the camera, or something, or like get get um, best guy ever, or or someone else in from the PCP to like mention like your comic mm-hmm. or something. 
Yeah. As a joke. Absolutely. Yeah, again, Munchie to mention absolutely. it. Absolutely. Like, hey, my name is Ben Sade. I make comics. And then Munch could raise his hand saying, like, oh, well, where could I read these comics? Uh, ben Saint. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that could that could work. No, you're absolutely right. I should have shielded more. Yeah, that's that's very in character. Um, but mm-hmm. okay. So anyway, I was just gonna uh, I was just gonna compliment you on the on that video because uh, the Chris Chan one because I think uh, compared mm-hmm. to a lot of other Chris Chan videos, um, it's very different. Mm-hmm. You just focus on the comic, and I mean you talk about his life, but in like with I'm yeah yeah through the filter well, of like, the comic. That's... As kind well, of like well, the that's guy. like that's why I like that's how I like learned about Chris in the first place, right? Like like. Um, I, I, I don't know if I should say he because he was a male back then, but whatever. She, like, got, I think it's she. I think you, you still okay. even the word male, you say she now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Even, is that, I don't know, like, even if you're talking about, like, past Chris, like, in the, who in the comic was male. I, like, I, it, I, in, in, in the lecture, I say he, which I probably shouldn't have because, I'm, um, because this was post-transit, but I was, I did that because I was talking about old Chris, like, right. before, pre-transition. Um, I don't know. Okay, but she, she. I heard. I um, remember. Makes, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You just call him what you want to call him. Okay, call she okay. what you want to call um, her. Oh yeah, she she made all this. Um, she wrote the comic, right? And then like, but the comic was like the window into what was going on, right. and like you would read a joke and it would make no sense, <laughs> and then you go to, and then you'd like, what the fuck am I reading? And then you go to the wiki and people had like had torn it apart and been like, okay, so. This line is actually like this is a reference to Excel Saga, which like is like some it's an anime that Chris liked when she was like a little kid, and and she met like one of the voice actors at the thing, and it's like oh, I understand. And then like same with like all the troll characters, and it's like oh who who is this brown Sonichu? Like why is this brown Sonichu like appearing in the middle of a fight and just being like dispatched with impunity and like murdered instantly? Like why why do these two guys like hold hands and jump down an elevator shaft? Like who are they? Why does Chris hate them so much? That's like the most Yeah, so I guess if I did another lecture I would do that too and and, and pursue Oh yeah, definitely. And to, and talk and talk about the, the comic. Although, I mean you would have to get into you would have to get into the real life stuff, and like I don't know. I mean yeah. Some of the some of the stuff might not like the I don't know if the dimensional merge because I haven't read the comic yet, but, like, if the comic doesn't mention the dimensional merge, or if the comic doesn't mention, like, the death laser on the moon, or anything, right. like, you know, these things these things must be discussed, right? right? So, like, I would have to sneak them in there, even if there was no men- explicit right. mention of them in right, the exactly. comic. Right, um, exactly. I mean, hopefully she did reference it, because, yeah, because if it isn't, it's kind of like, damn, like, it's gonna be, yeah. you're gonna have to find well, now- some sort of way to bring it in, right? Well, well, now I'm curious. Now I'm wondering, like, what is in the comic? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Everyone, everyone says it's boring, but I mean, I guess there's only one way to find right, out. I'm exactly. gonna have to go and I, I know, dive into that. I know the I know the comic goes into the whole um, or reference a little bit of the GameStop fiasco, where she like uh, pepper spray. Oh, the, the the pepper spray. Yeah, yeah. You didn't mention that. I mean, that was a big. You didn't mention that in your video, did... right? Or did you? I. I may very well not have, mm, yeah. Because at the time, it definitely was. That was post. That was. I think that was post transition, but it was definitely it, post, it was post um, the end. Yeah. It was. It was post the end of the comic at the time, mm-hmm. so it definitely wouldn't have been explicitly referenced. Maybe I would probably do like a preamble of like talking about like what went on in Chris's life, like between the end of the last comic and like when it started again. Right. Right. However many years ago that happened. Uh, Man, it's been a long time. I think um, th- that whole, like, when you're talking about, like, the, week- the Wikipedia, it gave me this idea. Because, like, um, I've been seeing a lot, like, in comic book stores where they would sell, like, um, they would sell, like, a comic that, like, details, like, the history of, like, a universe. And they'll sell, yeah. like, an annotated version where it's, like, it has, like, the little, like, bits of information. Like, oh, this part was referenced in this specific issue, blah, 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 right? And I'm like, mm. what if someone made like a annotated like Sonichu book, right? That like references. Oh yeah. Yeah, like oh, um, she like, she had like, this kind of because... like how you can have like kind of like how you can read like Shakespeare and like on the left page it'll be the actual text and on the right it'll be like yeah yeah she, an explanation yeah, the, of like what the wording means. Yeah, Sonichu annotated. Yeah, like yeah, it's like an actual book that, that really would sell. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. That that doesn't exist. If it I wonder doesn't. what the legality yeah, is. It makes per- it makes perfect sense. Yeah, I mean, it would be, you know, Chris would have to approve. Right. It. I mean, I would. Or, I would or, imagine or would you, you got to make sure it's yeah. Chris who's mostly benefiting from the money because I mean, 
I, I hate I hate seeing like Chris get abused, right? Um, depends on the kind of abuse. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm like on this, I'm like on this thing, like, uh, like even like the little, even like even if it seems like she deserved it, I'm still kind of like I don't know. This feels like it's because she gets like a lot. She gets like a lot of shit thrown at her, which is why like I kind of like your video because you you don't you're not like you're not like making fun of her. You just kind of like just yeah. talking about what's going on. I really I try. Those are, I try to be neutral. Right, I mean, those are, like, I like those videos better, because there are the videos where, like, they do make fun of her, and it's kind of like, okay, this is just too, like, I mean, I, the, I know the excuse is, like, oh, she deserved it, but it's, like... I mean, I do... I, I still not, feel like she's, like, the biggest everything. victim of, of this. Okay, I mean, there are some things that I feel like she was unfairly victimized mm-hmm. for. Uh, I, I mean, it's funny, I, I am not... I do think she deserves some degree of abuse well, like, I get I, like I, okay her pepper but, but I but I didn't guy, want to do like, that okay. in but I didn't want to do that in my video in the lecture like that wasn't the point the point of the lecture is like here's some funny info right, right. information um I mean I don't condone everything that trolls do to Chris but like there are there are ways to fuck with her that I think are like perfectly fine right. and don't hurt anyone I don't know, like what I'm doing on Twitter with the Yang yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think like, like you're pretty, not. That's pretty. That's pretty harmless. Yeah, you're not like pretending to be like a girl to try to like fool him into fool her into dating you. You know. Yeah, like, I think those like those like I'm like damn. I don't think. I mean, the some some guys have literally tried to like troll Chris, but in a way, like there were there were the, like the guys who convinced her that there was a moon laser trained on Quickville. Like they literally export extorted money out of her. Yeah, like. That's, Which is like fucked that's up and too awful. Much. Yeah, yeah, that's like no. Yeah, that's that's they. I I don't know what happened to them. I hope they went to jail. <laughs> to me, it always feels like, even since the beginning, it always felt like kicking down, like someone that's all that was already like already down. Like you know, let's kick them some more. You know, it's like she's she's. I don't know. She's not that down though. Hmm. Like she. She, I mean, she's not like rich, but like she's not. I don't know how, I mean, how much I'm, is she making? I'm mostly on, taking. How much is she making on Patreon right? I'm mostly taking. I'm talking about kind of like her having like a mental illness. I think that's kind of like punishment enough. Well, <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, sure. But oh, okay. Well, she's making. Oh, she's making 189. That's less than I thought. Oh, I'm like halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, um, I'm one third. Okay. I'm one third there. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? Maybe I don't feel so upset, <laughs> but I mean... it's, it's fine. I, I mean, I, I didn't really, really want to talk about this that much, but I just wanted to oh, okay. talk about like that. Yeah, that video got you a lot of attention. It got you noticed by a lot of people. Um, it it did, but like, I don't know. I don't know how much it like. It ultimately benefited I, you in the comic. I, I didn't I d- really. I don't know how. I, I feel like it benefited me. It it got me. It got my name out there to a degree mm-hmm. that it would not have otherwise. But I don't think it made me a lot of like fans. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because you're not doing. Like I don't. I I don't think a lot of people watch that video and were like, I like this guy. I want to support this guy. And then like patroned me for yeah, it. Yeah, you're not like an into the rabbit hole kind of guy, right? Who's just constantly making videos mm-hmm. like that, Fred. Yeah, 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 like Frederick, what's his name? May, maybe it, Frederick Nudson. Yeah. Like maybe if I had, this is kind of why I want to make like a whole bunch more lectures because like I don't know. Maybe if I started like, you know, it wouldn't be something that I would do all the time. But maybe if I made a bunch and then like I released them like semi regularly, people would be like, "I like this guy. I'm going to patron him for this." Mm-hmm. Right? Like, like that would be an, like maybe like the, this is like the fur the Chris video softened people up. And maybe if I had if I put more out, more people would be like, "Okay." Yeah, I I know this guy. I remember this guy. I like what he does. Yeah, I, I feel that. You know, and and I like, could convert more of you know, like I have like the, the the comic audience is one thing, and some of them patron me. Right. I feel like the the video audience is has not is less. Uh, uh, it's big bigger, but it's less uh, fervent. To Bob Daniel. Yeah, oh, okay. I th- I think that's that's my that's my impression. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think um And what I'm saying is that they are a, that they are a herd, that they are a herd of sheep that need to be milked. Oh yeah, of course. Of course, like <laughs> yes. yeah. In as in the capitalist system we are, we have to milk each other to stay alive. Yeah. We got to suck on our own We're all tits. Just... We got to do it. Got to do it. You got to do it. Gotta suck yourself off. That's the only way to survive. <laughs> That's and right. Suck everyone else off Dude. too. We all 
Damn. I I couldn't I couldn't have said it better <laughs> myself. Okay, all right. So fi- final Fuck okay, yeah. final question. Um mm-hmm. Okay, so I think like I said earlier, I I like to leave our with our viewers with something for them to kind of do, right? And I'm, okay. this is the thing I'm going to do like at the end of every episode where I'm going to ask you to um to let's is there a comic you always wanted to recommend to people? And like I'm asking, like that you always seriously like. Oh, if I if I had a big enough voice, I want to recommend this to as many people as possible. And it it could be any comic. It could be something popular or something small. It's up to you. There is a comic that I. Uh, or it doesn't have to be yeah, a comic, there... but yeah, go on. Well, if you, I mean, I mean okay, there is, should, there is a comic. comic. Yeah, your com- your comic. Um, Webcomic it's a there is there is a comic that I've always uh, thought about. Um, do you know a guy named Boulette? That sounds familiar. An artist. An artist. He is like, I think I think he's Belgian, but I I could be wrong. But he's a uh, is he he's, he's, he's is he still making art now or is he like a yeah yeah he's still on he's still on Twitter he's he still does stuff but he um this guy Boulette he did a twenty four hour comic right. Mm-hmm. And this comic that he did, he, he would do these, like, every year for 24-hour comic TV. But one of the ones that he made, it's got to be, like, 30 pages long. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like it's incredible. He churned this thing out in, like, it, he might have went slightly over 24 hours, but it doesn't matter. It's, right. like, an incredible piece of work to have done in such a short time. And it is called The Darkness. And it is so fucking cool. It blows my that's, fucking mind every time I think about it. That sounds so familiar, that title, The Darkness. It is, um, yeah. I don't know if I want. I don't know if I even want to spoil it. I won't. I won't spoil what it's about. Okay. But it's called the Darkness. It's by a guy called Boulette. Okay. The who dark- tweets? Who I don't follow on Twitter because he tweets in French and I can't. It's useless to me. Boulette, how do you, <laughs> but uh, how, oh how god, I sp- think it's B O. I think it's B O U L E T T E. Let me let me let me confirm. T T E. Boulette. Oh, okay. The, the um, dark, are you sure it's called the darkness, or it's called is it called something else? Fuck, because the darkness is also I think like a '90s superhero comic. Uh, sure. Yeah, you're right. There is a comic series called The Darkness. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Well, this is on and and oh, Boulette. It's on. It's on a website called okay B O U L E T. It's on his website, which is English dot bouletcorp.com so english.boulet dot com, and it's called it is called oh no it's just called darkness darkness wait hold um, up is this oh I think I I think I read this is that the one where it's kind of like the guy's roommate yes he's like yeah he's like this very kind of like well, I, I, no spoilers, I'm just, the, just the beginning. I'm just gonna like just the little synopsis. Like he's kind of edgy and brooding, and all the all the yeah. chicks like fall for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I, apparently, apparently, Boulette is spelled B-O-U-L-E-T. Yeah, yeah. I just got it right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I recommend this. Is this is pretty? This is pretty good comic. <laughs> and he's he's on Twitter at oh he, his Twitter is. Boulette Corp, B O U L E T C O R P. Uh, yeah, the art style looks. Uh, this this thing is so. This thing is uh, uh, for years. <laughs> for years, I've been. I've this thing's been stuck in my mind. Like I can't believe. I cannot fucking believe someone made this in like, in like twenty four hours or thirty hours or whatever it was. Yeah, this looks very like. Even though it, there's like a little bit of background, they they did put like a lot of detail as possible. Yeah. yeah, it's very. Yeah, I mean, they, he draws like full on like rooms and stuff. Like, there's, this is it's no it's no joke. Yeah, it's no joke. Like, it's no fucking. Like, joke. I mean, if someone told me this was twenty four hours, I would be surprised. I mean, there's so fucking much of it. Right. Exactly. There's so fucking much of it. I can't, man, man. I'm lucky to get one page done in a day. <laughs> yeah. So, bullet darkness. That's what it's called. Um. Yeah, I get that. That's that's why you got to train yourself, uh, Ben. You got to train yourself to come faster. Yeah, I know. You gotta, you gotta destroy. I know I do, man. Destroy your social life. Stop playing video games. And <laughs> I don't really, I don't really play that many. Well, some, sometimes I'll get on a kick of playing a video game. Actually, I don't I'm, I'm play that many video. I'm games. lying. I did play a video game this year. Um, oh, you fucking bitch! Yeah, I mean, I tried to. Oh, uh, you piece yeah, of shit! Yeah, you got shit. me. You got me. I tried to beat it as fast as possible, though. 
Um, it was a Dragon Quest Eleven for Nintendo DS. Okay. Yeah, because is is that why is that you said you missed like one update? Was that why? No, I think I missed an update because like I seriously needed money at one point, so I had to like double down on my second job just to make enough. Uh, but, uh, okay, sure. <laughs> no, but I, I, I played Dragon's Quest because I think last year I was like, huh, I really want to play Dragon's Quest. And I borrowed it off mm. of a friend. And then while playing it, I realized, wait, I don't want to play Dragon's Quest. I just want to look at the art because I think the art looks cool. And But I didn't, like, you, have you ever, like, let one of your friends, like, borrow, like, a book or a movie or something? And, like, a lot of time has passed by. And then you ask them, hey, um, did you finish reading the book or the movie? And then they'll be like, oh, I haven't even started. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I, hate, I hate those kind of people. I hate those kind <laughs> of people. I hate them with a passion. I never want to become that kind of person. So, like, okay. that's why I just try to beat the game as fast as possible because I don't want to give it back unbeaten. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. I beat the game. Like, I grind myself, like, as high as possible and I just went through the whole game, beat the shit out of everybody. And then I, re- I have I have never played a Dragon Quest except for Dragon Quest Monsters, this, which is like a totally different thing. Right. It's very um, it's very like the traditional JRPG. Like this is like the grandfather of it all. Yeah. yeah and I mean I'm fine with RPGs, so that's good. So anyway, yeah, it's called Boulette Darkness. It's it's a short comic. It's not that long, right? It's not. It's it's maybe like thirty pages. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I'm, may, maybe not even. I don't know. But it's really good. Yeah, you could, that, that's that's my recommendation. Yeah, the list. The listeners could probably like definitely find this comic like right now and just zip on yeah. through just under like five minutes. Probably read the whole thing. Hi, mm-hmm. Highly recommend. Recommend uh, Ben Say recommendation of the day. I do. Yeah. Uh, uh, Boulette, if you're listening, uh, I love you. Uh, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> follow, follow, follow me on Twitter too, Boulette. Um, I don't speak French. At, it, at it's also ugly, <laughs> by the way. Oh yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna put your Twitter. I'm gonna put your Twitter handle handle on the video. Like it's gonna be over over your body. Dab. Yeah. Dab. Yeah, so they'll know. Dab. Dab. They'll know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. <sighs> okay, I, I think man. I think that's it. Okay. So thanks everyone for listening to um, the cheesy cast episode one pilot episode. Uh, here with the with the infamous it's my, infamous Ben Saint. My my pleasure. Thanks, uh, thanks for I'm coming. Honor, in. Honored to be honored to be number one. Thanks. Uh, I'm glad you're okay with me absorbing your clout. Uh, uh, getting getting yeah. a little bit of your attention. Getting a little bit of. Um, so every time someone looks up Ben that's, Saint, my name is going to appear there too. Top top of the Google searches. Uh, uh, I mean that's that's how you know. I hate I hate the game, not the player. I mean, yeah, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm a big big critic of, of the capitalistic system we live under but yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> that's sure. that's sure that's that's the beans well what are you gonna do yep. all right well thank you ben saint fuck yeah don't forget to Welcome. don't forget to read the vapors uh i'll be the, yes. all the links in the bottom vapors uh champion friends brunswick uh his youtube is gonna be there just could just could just go to my website got, yeah ben saint, he's got saint 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 comics yeah, saint dot com, com. with an, with with an X or not, you can misspell it if you want, and it read and it and it reads. It, it it's gonna it's just gonna auto correct it for you and just take you there. And uh, he has a Patreon too. If I, if you think, oh man, yeah. If you think this ben, Patreon dot com slash Ben Saint, that was a meme. Yeah, exactly. That was I. That was a meme. That for was a while. that was an era. That was an era for a while. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Dude. If you think this man deserves money, uh, you can go give it to him on Patreon. I think so. Yeah, I I think so too. I say he deserves money. Dab, uh, yeah, dab, I dab, also dab. have a Patreon, Cheesy Manfredo. If you think I deserve money, um, give me yeah. give me that too. Read Bongo and Luna, and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, we're 